welcome to Hyper RPG and welcome to the first episode of the official Rat Queens RPG. My name is Emily Rose Jacobson and I am your GM on this magical journey. So tonight what you are watching is a tabletop RPG that is inspired by the world of Rat Queens. We've worked with Curtis and we've worked with the official Rat Queens team to create a story that is inspired by the comics, but it is in fact kind of its own adventure. So if you're a fan of the comics, don't worry. There's gonna be a bunch of references to characters and locations and events, but this itself is its own adventure that you get to be a part of. So um, there are so many ways you get to interact with this story because we're not just up here telling the story. You are also a part of this story with us. If you go to oneshot.straylogic.com, you will find all the different ways you can interact with Rat Queens. Now, the system that we're using in this game is a modified version of the Dungeon World system. If you are a longtime viewer of Hyper RPG, you know that this is the system that I used in the Fetch Quest, <laughs> as well as the most recent Firefly RPG. So we've been playing with the Dungeon World system, getting you all familiar with it, as well as us. So this is how you can influence the game. For hashtag reroll at $25, you get to give our queens a reroll. Now, for those of you who don't know, the dungeon world system is based off of the apocalypse world system. So that means it's a 2d6 roll with modifiers. Essentially, a 10 or above is a complete success. Everything works out perfectly well. A seven to nine though, which is kind of your average roll with 2d6s, is unfortunately a mixed success. So while our queens may be successful in whatever they're trying to achieve, there are going to be some consequences. And then of course, a six and below is a utter and complete fail. So these <laughs> ladies are going to need re-rolls like nobody's business. So please, if you feel generous, type in, uh, go to oneshotstraylogic.com, type in hashtag re-roll, and you can give our ladies that gift. I really want the re-rolls. <laughs> Don't feel good about rolling tonight. <laughs> and then at fifty dollars, uh, we have our hashtag. We have our baggage. So if you uh, our baggage system, that is a system specifically for the Rat Queen system. Essentially, each of our women have a some baggage, a fatal flaw, a. a kind of a personality trait about them that can either lead them to making good choices or maybe not so good choices. Like for instance, Hannah, her baggage is that, well, she's been on her own most of her life, so she only knows how to take care of herself. There might be a situation where suddenly you tip that her baggage comes up, where Hannah's gonna be encouraged to act selfishly. If she does act on her baggage and kind of, well, upsets the team, <laughs> I put a little, we put a little coin in the tension box. Basically, when the tension box reaches six, I get to make an ultimate powerful GM move that will basically cause some chaos for our team. So that is a way that you can influence the players. You can cause them to kind of play into their bad sides, play into their vices, play into their weaknesses with the baggage. So that's for hashtag Hannah, hashtag Betty, hashtag Violet, and hashtag D. That is how you get to kind of provoke some chaos in this world at $50. Then, at $75, type in hashtag combo. You get to tell me which two characters you want to complete a combo move. The Rat Queens comics is infamous for our women fighting alongside each other and creating these really unique combo moves to take down foes and perhaps just to have some fun. So if you, if you type in hashtag combo, then type in the characters' names. Don't hashtag them, because the system's gonna read that as baggage. Instead, just type in hashtag combo and then which two characters you want to see complete a combo. And I'm going to be really excited to see those as well. And then finally, of course, at $100, you get to create an NPC in the Rat Queens universe. Like I said earlier, this is the official Rat Queens RPG. So you will get to create a character that exists in this universe. They will be at my discretion, so if it gets a little crazy, just know that I am the cheesecloth through, with your, through which your character is processed into this world. <laughs> and also, just uh, real quick as well, hashtag rerolls and hashtag baggage, those are group buys, so you can throw in a dollar or two and the entire chat can build into purchasing if you really wanna see if you really just want to give Hannah like three baggage tonight, you as a chat can work together by one and two dollars, five dollars here and there to give her those baggages. <laughs> baggages. <laughs> Bill flirt bag. So wonderful. I'm so excited for you all to be joining us and going on this adventure with us, but I'm not the only person here at the table. Let's go ahead and meet your queens. 
from left to right. It's left. Hi, I'm Jessica Lindberti. <laughs> I'm playing Hannah Vasari. Hi, I'm Michelle Wynn. I am playing Betty. Hi, I am Laurie Jones, and I am playing Violet. Hey, I'm Elisa Pearl. I'm playing D. So those, this is your official Rat Queens cast. We are missing Braga tonight, but don't worry, Braga is coming into the story, so just hold tight. And of course, uh, you can help participate in the show as well by visiting oneshot.straylogic.com. This show is 100% funded by you and your participation, and thank you. We're excited to go on this journey with you, so why don't we begin? Woo! 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 Do this Let background jig. <laughs> <laughs> Prologue. The tree of all life. It spans across space and time, growing with every experience, sunrise, and sunset. Each limb, a different world, a different time, a different story. We open this story on the limb of the Rat Queens, of Palisades, of demons, gods, and monsters alike. And on that limb, there are two branches, a diversion in time and space, an alternative story, a second place, a different adventure. It's morning. We find ourselves in the somewhat peaceful port of Palisades. <laughs> The sun slowly rising over the blue sea onto a town that brings out the best and the worst of all kinds. As the day begins, more and more townsfolk fill the streets, opening shops, sweeping doorsteps, with the occasional drunk being thrown, tossed out of taverns as the new day dawns. Only a year after Palisades' almost destruction by Nirgyoth, the city has returned to its normalcy. Many survivors remember the day differently. For some, it was the destruction of their home. For many, it was the horror of seeing huge ethereal tentacles emerge from the sky. But there's one part of the day that everybody remembers. The Rat Queens. <coughs> we first open <laughs> on the lodging of the Rat Queens, the Vizari home. Outside in the rising sun, we find a young dwarf woman standing off against a training dummy. She raises her sword high as the sweat of her brow reflects in its perfect shimmering quality. Uh, Violet, what move are you practicing on this dummy? <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting stabby on these, this dummy's guts. <laughs> Wonderful. I want you to roll me 2d6 plus your guts. Oh, 12. Plus wow. my guess. That 13. Was a, that's boxcars, wow. That's great roll. <laughs> so describe to me this perfect attack you do. I raise my sword over my head, and I, I let go, and it spins twice, slicing the dummy in two. <laughs> As it perfectly like hits the tree behind it, and it's like sticking in the tree. Yes. The perfect. <laughs> Couldn't get better than that. <laughs> wow! You suddenly hear from behind you uh, a voice and a murmur where you turn around and you see a small uh, dwarven girl who's been leaning over the fence, apparently watching you for some time. She's just been silent up until this moment. Uh, she quickly jumps off the fence as she sees you. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't, I, I didn't mean to be spying. Oh, you're not spying? You're appreciating. Good work. Oh, I am, uh, I hear. And she picks up a, a, a basket of fresh pears. Uh, my, my mom told me to go house to house, uh, seeing if anybody wants to buy any pears. It's the first batch of the summer season. And well, uh, you're, uh, can I tell you a secret? Uh, it's not gonna be a secret after you tell me, but yeah. Uh, well, I've seen you train a couple times and well, I, I wanna be just like you when I grow up, Violet. You're. You're you're such a an a amazing dwarf and uh 
yeah, you, you left your family behind and you, you went off and did your own thing. And well, uh, my mom keeps telling me I can't leave the house yet because I would probably get killed. But uh, I want to do that too someday. I want to go out and see the world just like you. Can I get personal? <laughs> Can oh, I see what personal? I know? Oh, Can sure. So roll me uh, 2d6 <laughs> plus heart. It's get so personal, good. yeah. Uh, what is this NPC about? <laughs> gonna kill I got you. an 11. <laughs> Wonderful. Wow. You get to ask three questions to me. So from our list of NPC questions. Or you can ask, you can add, yeah. Great, I love this. Uh, did your mom or someone else send you to me? <laughs> Well, my mom sent me just to sell pears. I'm just going house to house, and why well, well, the 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 Vasari house is the, is the last one on this route for me. Okay. Were you thinking I was sent here as like some kind of spy? <laughs> 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 oh, that'd be really cool. No. All the best spies I know are really adorable and short. I have <gasps> a a good friend, Betty, who's also very adorable and short. Oh. Um, do I have anything that you need? Well, uh, I just like watching you. I mean, I hope that doesn't sound weird. You're just, I really look up to you. I, I know not a, other, not a lot of other dwarf women kind of go off and do their own thing like you, but. Uh, oh I'm blushing so much, I think my beard may be coming back in. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? My name is. Uh, a Winnie, Winnie Storm Hand. Winnie. Of the, of, of the proud Storm Hands. <laughs> Winnie Storm Hand, one day you can be a dwarf like me. Oh, really? I don't know totally, but I hope so. Can I hold your sword really quick? Uh, really quick. I'm going to count to two. Okay. <laughs> can you help me pull it from the tree? It's kind of wedged in that tree right there. Okay, yeah. Let's go over there. And uh, Winnie picks up her basket and just kind of carries it with her, and she puts it right next to the tree. All right. One, <gasps> two, three. Oh! And she holds it like, yeah, for two seconds, and then <laughs> she's about to drop it because it's so heavy. Hey, Winnie. Yeah. Great job. Oh. Uh, thank you. And uh, she pulls out uh, eight pears from her basket and gives it to you. Here, here, these are, these are on me. I hope you like them. All right, and uh, we have reached our first baggage. It looks like Violet, what? you just got tipped some baggage. <gasps> so, uh, Violet, remind me again what your baggage is. It's family. It's family. Family is my baggage. Oh, so family kind of causes you to, uh, sends, like, launches you into a feeling of regret. So in this moment, describe to me how your kind of, your baggage is negatively, negatively affecting you with Winnie. I see myself in Winnie. I see myself in you, Winnie. I think of me as a young, young dwarf, really being mad about my beard and the stereotypes <laughs> of beer with dwarves. And so I, I decided I'd never, I'd never drink, I'd never drink beer. I'd only drink wine, not because I <laughs> wanted to, but because it was ironic. And I, I hope that you can find your true self without having to push back all the time with family. Oh gosh, you know what? Do you want to just, do you want to come with me sometime on an adventure? Uh, Violet, unfortunately, as you're getting choked up, you are very close to her holding the sword. You do lose your grip on your sword, <gasps> uh, sending it down to young Winnie's feet. I need you to roll uh, oh, no. Defy Danger. <laughs> <laughs> Are we uh, killing children? You get, to, you, get to, you get to choose which uh, skill like, you want to use, guts, canny, skill, or heart. Uh, I'm going to say probably canny because you want to use quick thinking. Baggage, oh, but baggage. Skill. I got better skill. I got better skill. I got better skill. <laughs> I'm Great. really worried about winning. You're going to use yeah, you're gonna use your fighting training to try okay. and save her from we also do have 11 re-rolls. So thank you so much for Whoa! joining in these re-rolls. Holy crap. Y'all are thank making you. this show wonderful. So you do have some chances in case it does not go well. Okay. So yes, uh, getting choked up, you drop your sword. It's dan falling dangerously quickly to young Winnie's toes. <laughs> <laughs>
Got a seven plus two, oh. nine. That's Ooh. that's a mixed success. Do you want to try and roll for a, a success? <laughs> I do. Okay. <laughs> I do. Winnie, Winnie, this don't is for Winnie's feet. Oh don't be my worse, don't be worse. God. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same. <laughs> do you want to keep it? I guess yeah, we, we have 11 re-rolls, or I, now 10. I guess I'm worried about all my rat queens. No, it's okay. You we're worried about <laughs> a child. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Yeah. Perspective. Yeah. Perspective. Yeah. Last one. It's worse. No. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh. all right. You got, you got uh, let's see. I think you got eight do more. We, do we keep the best one? No. Oh, so gosh, gosh, gosh. You got to re-roll that. Yeah, you got to re-roll that. Roll again. Roll yeah, again. We're, we're on your side. Okay. Hannah doesn't necessarily okay. agree, but Jessica does. Five okay. and a... Five, Ooh, ten, oh, ten plus two is twelve. Awesome. Thank you for the re-rolls. All right. Thank you, re-rolls. You've Ooh. saved a child's feet. Seriously. <laughs> so Wonderful. Worried. So yes, uh, Violet, thanks to your quick thinking and training, your excellent, <laughs> excellent dwarven training, uh, in this moment of kind of regret for family and seeing this young dwarven girl reminded you of your own family, uh, you quickly, yeah, you, you swipe your hand almost at her shins, catching the sword in your bare hands, but not cutting you because you caught it kind of in the flat side. Oh wow. my gosh. Oh, Miss Violet, you're, you're cooler than I thought. <sighs> Whoa. It's not cool to drop your weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to remember that. Okay, I will. And I'd love to come on an adventure with you one time. Uh, uh, maybe I'll, I'll go ask my mom. Yeah, uh, ask your mom, okay? Great. Uh, yeah, so here, here are the pears. She leads them on like a little handkerchief by the tree. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go keep going, but you know what? I'll be, I'll be back next week with some pears, and, and maybe, maybe I'll bring my, oh, maybe I'll bring my brother's wooden sword, and, and you can teach me a stance or something. That's a great idea. Uh, and she quickly runs in to hug you. It's a real tight little squeeze hug. <sighs> Thank you. And then uh, she picks up her basket, and because it's a little too heavy for her, she kind of waddles down the road. She's just having a little, she's, a, she's not as strong as this basket. Uh, as you hear the chiming of the 10 o'clock bells of the Palisades Tower. Oh, I gotta get to the Black Seder. We cut then to an alley near the outskirts of town. A sprightly smidgen skips her way down the cobblestones before she spots a skinny man hanging out in the back doorway of some seedy establishment. Hey, smidgen. <laughs> you here to come see druggy Danny? <laughs> As he gestures a long, langy figure to the inside of his coat, where you see just an assortment of mushrooms and mystical potions. Oh, Danny, I see you every week. You don't have to be all mystical and mysterious. You could just come to my house. That's fine also. Uh, I just, you know me, I like the alleyways. This is where people know where to find me. I can just stay back here. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's cool. If that's your thing you're going to keep doing. Um, I'll take, let's see, where is this week's order? I'll have the red ones. All right. Purple ones. Pur red, purple. Um, I want those candies down there. Oh, and yeah, then... the kitty candies. Oh, I got some good stuff. Can I tell you about it? Sure. Well, I've got, this is a special concoction I cooked up. It's called the Gondor. Uh, because uh, these bad boys will have you gone so fast, you're gonna say, Gondor? <laughs> I'm out of there. Hey, I, you know what? I could have been a bard. My mom says I could have been a bard, but I did drugs. And uh, <laughs> now I'm here, but I, I try to bring that creativity into my work. That was very. That was a very good pitch. Oh, I'm very proud of you, Danny. Oh, thanks. That's thanks very a good. lot. You know, Dee's always saying we can't have a bard in our party, but I think you'd make a great bard. Oh, uh, well, uh, <laughs> I, I did not go to the bard college, so I am not a certified bard. But you know what? Maybe, hey, maybe I start saving up money. You know yeah. what? They say you're never too old to go back to school. You could have a side job. You can do the the, the coat. Drug I can thing, do drugs, and, then and I can do, go to college. Yeah, or, you know, sing or fight battles, or or you can just keep being here in the alleyway. That's also fine for me. <laughs> Great, so, uh, uh, how are you gonna pay for this? Oh, oh uh, I definitely have money. Mm. <laughs> Do you wanna roll for that? <laughs> let's <laughs> see if I have money. Uh, let's see, um, <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a get social roll, so you can use any of your skills, heart, guts, canny, or skill, depending on what you wanna do. That is a function in this uh, modified dungeon world 
RPG. There are some skills where you can use any skill set depending on what you want to do. So if you want to empathize socially or perhaps you just want to be really rude socially to get what you want, that you have the option. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, uh, Danny, let's see how we're doing on cash this week. Ooh, uh, that is a six. I'm going to use hearts. That's a seven. Okay, so. Cheesy, crazy. On a mixed success. Uh, all right, uh, he doesn't believe you. Unfortunately, Danny kind of, <laughs> Danny gives you a one over. I don't know, Smidgen. You told me you had money last time, and you took my drugs and you left. I'm just remembering that now, so you uh. owe me double. <laughs> Ah, uh, you could have gotten me, but I'm just the brains. Well, ho hold on, hold on, Dan. We, I thought we had an agreement. That's why, you know, we just kind of talk it through week to week, you know, once a month. Maybe you get a payment. You can always come over to the house, hang out. Make your hand on, make you a nice dinner or something. He gets really close to you. You're going to need to pay me that money today, smidgen. Uh, all right, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to uh, escape while stealing what I want. Escape <laughs> while stealing what you want. Yes. Wonderful. I believe that is a. Hmm. Is it a defy danger mixed with something else? I'm gonna say <laughs> yeah. You're defying some danger because he's threatening you. So you are gonna overpower. Yeah, you're gonna overpower the situation. So what are you gonna roll? Uh, <laughs> canny or? I'm going to roll, yeah, canny. Great. So you are going to exploit your quick thinking and your enemy's weakness. So that totally makes sense for this roll. Danny! And we've gotten some more re-rolls. Thank you so much. We are back up to nine. Woo! Can I please re-roll? Because that was a three plus oh, two. Oh, <laughs> goodness, <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> we want you to escape. <laughs> Daddy! This is really bad. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a ten. Wonderful. All right. So uh, describe to me <laughs> how you do this. All right, Danny. I know you're just you're a little tired from being in this alleyway all day, every day, 365 days a year. Uh, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna let you cool off for for a little bit, um, and then I'm gonna um, start to back up, and uh, I'm gonna pretend like I'm backing up, but then dive in between his legs and jump behind him and quickly take the mushrooms and candy that I want and climb over a wall and away. <laughs> nice. That was a 10, I mean, come on. Yeah, it was a 10. <laughs> so, uh, so yes, yeah, so as you quickly dive down beneath him, all of a sudden he's like, what the? And you jump on his back and all of a sudden he's like, ah! As he's trying to reach both hands back behind you, trying to like grab you as you quickly uh, and sprightly pocket the drugs that you've collected, you've wanted for this week. Uh, as then you tuck them away. I feel like you put one in your mouth. Oh, I, t I put one. I, t I put the, uh, what was it? The uh, gondor in my the mouth. The gondor oh in your mouth. Oh, my God. As, <laughs> as you gondor yourself out of the situation, jumping over the alleyway wall into the back alley, the other alleyway, meeting it, and onto the streets of Palisades. As See you, you next week, Danny. <laughs> ah, you smidgen. Ah, you know what? <laughs> ah, you're the best business I have. <laughs> As his voice kind of fades out, <laughs> it's really not like as he was yelling about drugs. Um, as you as you hit the streets of Palisades, you then hear the ten chimes of the Palisades Tower. Ooh, time to hit the tavern. We then cut to a black-haired figure bundled in the covers. As the sunlight peers through the window onto a bed, the cocoon of quilts writhes and balls away from the light. While everyone up else is seemingly awake and at their day, there is one person who still wants to stay in bed. A head emerges from the sheets, and we see a black bedheaded hair, uh, matted hair between two demon-like horns. Hannah's groggy eyes scowl at the cheerful new day. Oh, no. I don't want to do this yet. Hannah, are you... Oh. I am, so I, I... Well, I don't know. Are you alone in your bed? I'm not. Oh, you're not um, alone in your bed! So, uh, the sun hits my eyes, and I'm, like, really pissed off about it, but I'm not going to waste a moment being awake. I'm going to reach for um, Sawyer's junk, <laughs> see if he's still in bed or, like, has morning wood or something like that. And I'm like, Great! <laughs> I'm going to say that that is a... Um, I'm gonna say that's a get sexy roll. So, yeah, that's um, right. Which yes. is another fun uh, action in the. What's my modified plus with that? 
well, it depends on what you want. Is it a tender squeeze? Is it an intense squeeze? An intuitive <laughs> squeeze? Or, or a technique ske squeeze? Well, uh, technique. Let's see yeah. here. Sounds like technique to me. Yeah. I got zero of that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, it's, I'm going to take my negative one on this because uh, it's heartless. Okay. Like, so, <laughs> All right. Uh, it's definitely functional. And I don't, I, so it's a negative one and it's a 10 still. It's a 10 yeah. still? Wow. On so a 10 I, plus, woo, your, I, your I lover is gold. satisfied, yes. Yeah, I, I, I hit gold um, and uh, normally I'd be pissed that he's like stayed over this long. Like, you know, it's like he's got to go because I got shit to do. Yeah. But, you know, we just uh, totally killed a god, saved a town. I can get off saved one more dad, time. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing chill, chill things. Uh, he kind of was like, oh, exclaims a little bit. And then you hear it at your door. <laughs> uh, this hall's <laughs> occupied. H Hannah, it's it's me. It's it's your dad. Oh, fuck. Can you get out the window? What? Hannah, what do you want me to Go. do? Get the fuck out the do window. Do you want me to get the fuck out the yes. window? Yes. Fine. Get out. Can you use some kind of, I don't know, put your invisibility on me or something. Help I am me get not out. wasting good magic on you. <laughs> You've done it before. No, get the fuck out of my bed or you won't be able to come in tomorrow. Roll me, roll me, uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to say that you're getting sassy, so roll me 2d6 plus your guts. Okay. Oh, God. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, uh, wait, how do you do math? Ten. A Ten. <laughs> Sawyer kind of looks you over as he's putting on his pants. Oh, God, your ass is so sexy. Get the fuck out. I'm shh, putting on my clothes. Why are you talking? I don't want me to. I'm putting on the clothes. As he puts up on his shirt. This isn't going to happen I again. love you. Oh, get out. Damn it, Hannah. As he, like, climbs out the window and kind of shimmies down. <laughs> uh, uh, I throw on, like, a... Um, like a <laughs> I, I, uh, oh God, I was gonna say a seat to robe because I think that's all I can find. <laughs> <laughs> but like I like pull ridiculous. it up. Like my hair can cover my tits. So, I, Dad, Dad, what, what, who let you into the house? I I do live here. I forget that sometimes. I Jesus. know it's it's been uh, sweetheart. Uh, here I don't have to come in. I can talk to you from behind no, the door. No, it's fine. Um, I op I swing open the door. Um. And like the sun backlights me, even though I hate it, you know? But like, I look really awesome. <laughs> oh, darling, you look more and more like your mother every oh, day. Oh, dad, don't talk about me like that. Oh, well, it's a, it was a compliment. Yeah, but you fucked my mom, you know? It's like weird. Oh, well, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> listen, I, I know things have not been easy since you rescued me and I've been back. I know it's been it's been hard and confusing. I'm still incredibly thankful to you and your friends. I feel very much indebted still. You say this to me every morning. Nothing's changed. Everything's fine. I do it a hundred times over. Can we just move on? Hannah, I just, I wanted you to know, I, I just, I love you so much. Okay, so I look on the um, <laughs> table for like leftover beer or something because I definitely have a, a leftover mead. Like there's de I definitely have a hangover and that's pretty good to like, even if it's a little stale, I'm, I'm trying to like find to see if there's. All right, uh, let's see. I'm gonna say, do, 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 do. roll me two d six plus your canny, because you're trying to assess the situation. Yeah. See if there is any, because there might be some good mead, there might be some bad spoiled mead. Uh, that's a seven. All right. Um, so with a seven, uh, there's two mugs of mead. You can't tell which one's good and which one's not good. There's a right and a left. Uh, I pour it into <laughs> <laughs> the cup and just drink it down. Great. Uh, you take one little, you take, uh, your stomach starts to kind of turn a little bit as you take like one little point of damage. That was a mistake. <laughs> what, Dad? What? I mean, look, I know you're grateful that you're alive and everything and not like locked in a dimensional prison, but like everything's fine. He kind of like reaches out to take your hand. Are you? Hannah, are you sure everything's fine? I mean, no, like living isn't fine. You know what I mean? Like oh, there's always bad out there. There's always some something to kill. There's always someone out to kill us. So like, no, nothing's fine. But like I got some good ass last night and you're oh, alive. Oh, so okay, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I heard. I heard. That. Yep. Dad. Yep. Moving on. All good. Listen, I'm just glad that. You're alive. That's about all we can ask for. He kind of gets close to you and almost goes in for a hug, but doesn't, and instead just kind of puts a hand on your shoulder. I take him in for a hug. Oh. 
you hug him. He, he kind of it's like kind of half hearted. Yeah, but and then like, in in you instigating the hug, he kind of squeezes a little bit tighter. Oh God, Dad, my stomach. I I know that I wasn't there for you a lot, and you had to take care of yourself. But I'm I'm just really thankful that you have such a group of amazing women that are also your family, and I'm so happy to know that you've been taken care of. Yep. All right. Okay. I promise man mandatory dad time is now over I'm to for today. Okay. Uh, I believe all of your friends, uh, you're, you're the last one here. I think they're all gone. So um, I can go make some Eggies and Bakies if you want it. You know, if you don't call it that again, <laughs> I'll eat it. Great. I can go make some eggs and bacon if you'd like it. Cool. cool. Uh, Thanks, great. Dad. As you, as he kind of begins to quickly make bacon and eggs, uh, you hear the chime of the ten o'clock Palisade Tower bells. I could get drunk again. And finally, we cut to a small bookstore located near the market market district of Palisades. The sign above the door reads. Bound for pleasure. <laughs> As right through the window, we see a young woman dressed in a uh, young cleric woman dressed in purple perusing the books around her. Mm. Mm, I've read that one four <laughs> times. Mm. Ooh, this one. It, mm. No, I should try something different this time. What kind of book are you looking for, D? I'm looking for something <laughs> with uh, some erotic. Um, Animal play. <laughs> uh, <laughs> trying to change it up. I don't know. I've just read so many of these books. I feel like I should, you know, that would change it up. Different, a different authors, different yeah. genres. Yeah. Uh, a very old half elf kind of approaches you. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> really. <laughs> Oh, have you been in my store before? Aren't you, aren't you the, the, oh, D from the, from, from the mice ladies. Yes. Rat queens. Rat, rat queens, saviors of palisades. As she kind of goes over to her, uh, kind of register and stand is kind of, uh, checking off a little checklist of what she's doing for the day. Can I help you find anything or... I don't know. Is there anything that old Lissona can do for you? Uh, well, I might check this one out since you gave it such a good review. <laughs> ah, Hot Spice and Moonlight. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. You know, they say that chili peppers not only do a heck of a thing in the mouth, but also with other things. <laughs> she puts like the book on the counter. Oh, that, that sounds different from what I was looking for, but okay. <laughs> oh, what are you looking for? <laughs> no, 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 it's cool. I'm, I'm just trying to do new things, you know, just kind of break out of my norm. You know, mm. just had a big, big battle and... Yes. I don't want to just kind of settle back into boring, you know? Yes, I, I understand. Sometimes when we are all faced with, well, death in our face, it causes one to, to rethink their lives and to think... Well, perhaps I should should go out and buy that house that I've been meaning to buy, but I've been putting it off for too long because I couldn't get the right loans or I was insecure about how the payments would go through. <laughs> that sounds very specific <laughs> to something you're going through. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Sure. What happened to you in that battle? Uh, I fought, I cast some spells, I healed some friends, and I put on that creepy mask from my uh, family's cult and that's it that's it that's right and how funny it was that well everything seemingly went back to normal after that funny or like we did a good job oh i think it i think it was a good job you know what it is it's 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 the gods blessing us. They they sent a big calamity down. Well, they sent another god down, and then another god stepped in and said, nope, this is my mortgage. These are my bank appointments. These are my payments. This is my world. Get out, tentacles. Right. Speaking of tentacles, and she goes over to a section. Uh, do you, you did that. Do you want anything over here? Tentacles? No, I've had plenty of tenta wonderful, tentacle wonderful. reading in my life. I'm good on tentacles. All um, right. Uh, and D, you have just been given 
your baggage. <laughs> oh, fun. So tell me, D, your oh, baggage. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know exactly where how my baggage plays out right now. Um, I just, I'm sorry, uh, Lisona. I just, I just want to rewind a little bit. Yes. Uh, back to the part of some god coming in and saving you all from those uh, that tentacle demons in the sky. That wasn't gods. That was us, the Rat Queens, with our battle and with our magic and with our skills. It wasn't some god coming in to swoop in and save you all. It was us. I need you to roll. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I'm gonna say you're gonna roll a. Uh, Get social, so you're gonna try and convince <laughs> you're gonna try and convince Lasona that uh, she's wrong. Okay, with well. I'm gonna say uh, let's say I skill. Feel like skill. Yes, <laughs> condescending and cold. I want to say yeah. yes. That is a skill, and I have one in that. Plus Wonderful. One in that. I got a seven. A we seven. have rerolls. We do have Depends eight rerolls. Well, I'll do one reroll. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do a re I have a question. What is your uh, baggage specifically? Oh, my baggage is that I'm a stubborn skeptic. Nice. And of course, an atheist, but it's more, you know, stubborn. So anything that I don't believe in, people, it's very hard to convince me of otherwise. Yes. And your family and like your background are a big part of that. Oh, right. yeah. Love it. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. I got Ten. 11. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> You ha, see, ha. you see, Lasona kind of, she's physically knocked back a bit, in that she's just been told that her beliefs are wrong, and that sorry, it's true. Mm -hmm. She kind of grabs hold of the table. Oh well, oh, perhaps you're right. Uh, I'm just a foolish old woman. Sometimes it seems, you know, sometimes we 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 hold on to things that can can help explain the unknown for us, explain why there's bad in the world and explain why there's good in the world. And perhaps you're right. Perhaps I've put too much faith in something that I cannot control rather than putting faith into myself and the things that I can control in my life. And that you, you four wonderful women came and, and, and did save us. I'm sorry if people still are cruel to you. I, I see what you've done and I very much appreciate it. Thanks. Now I feel kind of bad for uh, erasing your belief in other gods. But I mean, I think it's for the best, you know? It's better to just like sure. live in realism. I'm right? old. I can live in realism for a little while longer. Maybe you should, you know what, Lasona? Mm. You should go get that house. You really want that house, don't you? I mean, I'm assuming that was about you before. It, you were trying to make it like it generic, was, it but was. it was like, it was about you. I've, I've lived above the shop all my life and I've always just wanted my own cottage to myself. Even when my dear Petri was with me, we, we, never, we never committed to it. We were always so scared, scared that something would happen, scared that the unknown would happen. Uh, I want you to roll me, get personal. So okay. I want you to roll me 2d6 plus heart because you're, mm -hmm. okay. you're gonna convince her to to go and to the bank and I got an 11. Wonderful. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, oh wait. wait. Yeah, 11. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so plus two. Lasona just stares at you and her eyes well up with tears and a smile comes across her face. You know what? You you are something special, D. Oh. You Yes, you know what? Here, take the books. Take the books. What? Uh I mean it's just two. Take the books. <laughs> It's not, it's not the whole store. Uh, I have an appointment to make with the Bank of Palisades. I'm going to get me that cottage. I'm going to start my little vegetable garden and I am going to live my life. That's right. Get you that garden and cottage. Thank you, oh. Dee. Thanks, Lizona. Dee, as you hear the chiming, the 10 chimes of the Palisade Bells outside the store. Oh, well, that was perfect timing. I just head out. <laughs> Wonderful. We cut to the sunny street of Midtown Palisades where we see four women walking towards each other. Out of a distant window, you hear a begrudging townsperson yell, ah, fuck, it's the Rat Queens, uh, as we find Hannah, Betty, Violet Andy in front of the Black Seder. Go suck an egg. Shut up, Doug. Yeah, who's gonna save you next time, huh? Doug. Not us. We should just move. They wouldn't even know what the fuck to do without us. They don't appreciate us here. No, no, they don't. I know you're both being funny, but 
we have a responsibility to be here. Okay. I guess. <laughs> Jesus, what's up your ass? Nothing. I almost stabbed a child today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What? Whoa. That's not nothing. No, That's speaking of child, thank you so much, chat, for donating for the first NPC added to the Rat Queens <laughs> RPG. Uh, Winnie's mom is going to show up, and she's not going to be happy. <laughs> so unfortunately, <laughs> uh, suddenly, Violet, Good you Lord. hear a voice call out, you dwarf! As this ruddy-haired, kind of large woman comes barreling down the streets, pointing a finger at you. Uh, she's, she's still really wearing racist. an apron. She's got kind of her skirt tucked she's into some pants. Uh, as she, like, just hurries her way towards you. What do you think you're telling to my daughter? I, 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 I she came to, she came to me. Actually, she came to you. Oh, yes. Well, she was selling pears and you take that opportunity to, I don't know, influence a child in such a way. I, I, I was trying to be helpful. I, what the fuck did you do? No, yeah. I didn't do any. She came helpful. to me. She, do you want to know what she did? No. She told my little girl that it's fine to be a dwarf that runs off and goes on adventures and, and says goodbye to family because that's what you did, Violet. So some of that is technically true. Violet Blackforge, disgrace to the Blackforge family. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Oh. Bitch. Oh, whoa. Excuse me? I know you got some issues, but it sounds oh! it sounds like you don't know how to keep a hand on your daughter, and that's not our problem. Uh, I need you to roll me a get sassy roll. <laughs> so it's 2d6 plus your guts. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> how many uh, rerolls? Six. How many rerolls? What is have, it? We have six rerolls okay, left. Okay, I'm going to use them. Jesus. I'm going to use oh. another one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Really bad. They're really bad. How many? Okay. Wait, how that many? Was, was that? that was three. That was three. three. That would have been four, five, six, seven. So that, that how I'm going to take a seven. I'm going to take a seven. I'm going to sit on oh, a seven. Okay. You're going to sit on okay. a seven. All right. You're yeah. going to sit on a seven. You're okay. right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. I was point, getting point. <laughs> This is a small, yeah. small potato. right here. I was right getting here. stabby with the dice. <laughs> so uh, with a seven, they only get to do one thing that you pick. So. She can either uh, do what she wants, she won't hold a grudge, or she won't talk shit about you to her most important friends. Mm. Pick yeah. one. What was the first one? Uh, she'll do what you want. Yeah, get the fuck out of yeah. here. Yeah. You know what? If you ladies want some pears, you're going to need fresh pears. Did you, did you not give them the pears? Oh. No, I, just, I just saw them. No one even likes pears. Get out of here, lady. Excuse me. No one likes pears. No one likes pears. No one likes you. You should diversify oh. what you sell. Yeah, is it only pears or do you do apple soup? Yeah, that's weird. Sorry, never mind. Pears are a summer fruit. It is almost the summer solstice. I am, I, fine. I will just say this. If you come near my Winnie one more time, I will come fight you myself, Violet. <laughs> if you come near our Violet again, we're gonna fuck you up. Bitch, if you wanna fight her right now, let's see what happens. We're the Rat Queens. I'm not feeling so hot right now. I don't have my weapon with me. Ooh. And you know what? I need to go be a good parent to my daughter and teach her some morals, like how to walk away from a fight and not to just carelessly jump into them and get yourself killed. I just wanna say that the more you push, the more she's gonna pull. Just wanna say that. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna say that that's a that's a get personal. Roll me two d six with your heart. That's actually that's deep. That's, yeah, real, that's some, deep. that's real deep. That's real deep. You get to put that back in there. Do I? Yeah. If it rolls out of the box, that's house rules. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly the same. same. If that brings anyone good. <laughs> what was it? it um, so um, it's a it's a get personal. Oh, so it's just a nine. It just said That's I. not bad. Um, I mean, it's... Sorry, I didn't mean get personal. Dice. I mean, get social. So. Oh, get social. Get social. So she's going to believe you, but she's going to... She's not going to fully believe you. She's going to doubt a little so bit. So that sounds know, about man. right. <laughs> so with some heart. I I suppose that perhaps, yes, if you if you push something... If you if you pull something too hard, perhaps, yes, it's it, it might pull away, but I know my daughter... I know Winnie Stormhold, my only daughter. My other boys, of course, they've gone and left, so perhaps I am a bit too controlling because she's the only thing I have left. And I, I just want her to live smartly and 
and we'll live for a long time, so I, I see that I've embarrassed myself here, so I'm... Good day, Violet. I just hope that you take heed to my words and that you do not bother my daughter again as we see uh, Winnie's mother kind of slowly turn around and leave. As she exits, can um, I grab the, the thread that's coming loose from her sweater and, and like hold on to it lightly as she walks away in hopes that it um, unthreads? <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know I'm going to say you need to... Because uh, if you pull... I'm gonna say that's a, that's our that's a that's gonna be a skill roll. So roll me two d six plus your skill. <laughs> I got none. Uh, nine. The nine. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, as you begin to watch this, you pull the thread on her kind of the top half of her sweater as she begins to walk away. But because you got a nine, uh, just about as it's kind of like two <laughs> inches off the midriff, she quickly notices and turns around. This is what Excuse happens when you pull. Like uh, she said. You see her eyes kind of fill up with tears as now she's been completely humiliated <laughs> in oh the town God. square as she <laughs> as she makes eye contact with you, Violet, in kind of a why? Yeah. <sighs> oh. And turns around and just kind of covers her midriff and just kind of quickly returns home. You started it. <laughs> oh. Yikes. Oh. I'm really struggling already with like Jessica and Hannah. <laughs> like the choices. Why it seems pretty in in sync with Spoken like a true Ripley. <laughs> now, we have more important things to focus on than a mom and a, a kid that sells pears. Into yes. the tavern? Yeah, yeah let's go um, see what's going on. So f the Black Seder, of course, is the most well-known tavern for the Rat Queens in all of Palisades. It is also where the Mercenary Message Board is located. So this is a popular spot for our queens to not only grab a drink, but also to pick up some quests for some coin in the meantime. As you enter the Black Seder, you see that it's still kind of early in the morning. There's only a few people kind of here and there, slowly eating kind of some, some brunch, slowly exhaustedly as a maestro the keeper of the black Seder, is polishing a mug and kind of nods to you all as you enter uh you do see a kind of a large well-dressed woman pinning things onto the message board what do you want to do do we recognize her you do not i'd like to order a round you like to order a round uh -huh. great so you approach the bar and so hello hannah Hello, maestro. Roll me 2d6, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, with, plus what? Oh, your guts. Oh, uh, six. <laughs> I really need Hannah to come back with some drinks. <laughs> Can someone assist me before it's too late? Uh, he kind of looks at you and uh, says, uh, too late. get out, Hannah. Oh! Uh, can I, I'm going to just kind of go over, uh, <laughs> maestro, hey, sorry, I know it's first thing in the morning. Um, Hannah had a rough night. Uh, she's just recovering still from that. Can we just, we'll take a round. Yes, I'm on my period. Look, uh, D, I need mm -hmm. you to roll me, um, I get social. All right. I say you're trying to use some kindness, so. Use, uh, roll that oh. with your heart modifier. All 2d6 right. plus your heart. That's an 11. Uh, Maestro kind of gives a scowl at Hannah. Looks over at D. You're the one I like. <laughs> As he kind of begins to uh, polish his mug some more. Fine. You can stay for now. Thanks, what, Maestro. What do you want to eat? Um, we'll definitely have a round of meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meat. And uh, maybe some uh, eggs and bread. Yeah. Who's hungry? Who's hungry? I turn around and yell at the others. Uh, there's one gentleman in the back who's like, hey, I'm no. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> Just every fucking time. I know. He can't help himself. Okay, so everyone, we're all hungry, so we'll, we'll take some breakfast. Wonderful. He kind of, all right. That's uh, four meads and four eggy bakeys and some breadies. Could you just not call it that? I that's the new, that's the new term they're yeah. using around town. Yeah, eggy bakey. Eggy Everybody bakey says it. bready. Yeah. It's ironic. It's great. Eggy bakey bready. You get all the things right in that one phrase. It's perfect. When yeah. did everyone turn five years old? Maybe since we all escaped death as a town. So that, like everyone reverted to like flowers and gushy stuff. Hey, sure. yeah, just let people like things. 
Yeah. <laughs> I want. I want to eat eggs, bacon, and bread. Then we'll eat your eggy, bready, bakey. <laughs> <laughs> fine. My dad made me breakfast. I'm fine. You um, hear uh, from the corner <laughs> of a small corner table the light uh, cackling of a woman who's kind of laughing at the joke that you, she just heard you over tell. <laughs> she is our next NPC added. Thank you so much. <laughs> you see that she is kind of like this elderly interesting kind of definitely traveling woman uh she looks like that of a fortune teller uh beside her sits a little taxidermied owl uh that she treats as if it's alive and stares into his dead glass eyes to tell fortunes oh my gosh um wow that's it's like dubious but uh she can heavy. actually tell fortunes oh Ooh. so elra uh, kind of looks over elra <laughs> elra laughs, laughs. <laughs> you see that boy oh so funny little jokes <laughs> Did I say something funny? Hey guys, watch this. Um, and I go over to Elra. Hi! She's like petting the little owl and she's feeding it like a little piece of bread that it's not taking because it's dead. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, it's breakfast time, hello. Hi, I really like your owl, it's very good. It's very good. You hear that, Snowy? You got a compliment. Mm. Can you tell me fortune? Oh. With your owl? Or with, how does that work? Do you use the owl? Is the oh, owl you see, important in some yes, way? Yes, Snowy is my familiar. He helps me channel the sight. He helps me see into the ether, see into the great tree, uh -huh, uh -huh. so I can see everything that happens. Uh -huh. oh, Snowy sees nothing. That, yeah. right. nothing. Isn't that why, as this owl is just kind of tips over the side a little mm -hmm, bit. Mm -hmm, oh. Mm -hmm. I go right. up to Maestro. Maestro, I go, that's got to be unsanitary, right? That she's got a dead animal? She's buying. As you More kinda, than I can say touche, for myself. Too shame. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what do I get if I tell your fortune? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have this thing called a gondor. Oh. <laughs> have you I heard know of it? what a gondor is. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like half a bit left here. What else do you have in your bag there? Mm. <laughs> yeah, what else do you have in that bag? Good Betty? question. <laughs> I have a bag full of uh, mm. mushrooms, candy. <laughs> oh, you know More what? mushrooms. Snowy loves the candy, so give me half of the gondor and a little bit of your candy. Just make sure it's candy. Perfect. Wonderful. Maybe if it's drugs, it'll bring it back to life. I forget what happens with the green ones. Oh, yeah. We don't need... Yeah, I've got a lot of those. All right. Oh, give me your hand <laughs> as she takes your hand. Uh, and she kind of turns Snowy to look at her. Come on. Mm, mm. Oh, come here. So come creepy. here, Snowy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. As her eyes become then transfixed within Snowy's, uh, you see hers kind of almost glass over and become almost black and o like kind of onyx-like yeah. as her head kind of recoils back. Oh, oh, the golden one, you will find the golden one, the golden one, the golden one, the golden one she wants. Oh! <sighs> Oh, my goodness. Hello. Oh, Snowy, Snowy. Oh, good boy. She oh. takes the little candy off the table and she oh. feeds it. She's put, oh. oh, come on. Take it from mommy. Take it from mommy, please. Oh, you're not hungry? I think you should uh, put it in your mouth and regurgitate it to him. That is what an owl mom would do. Hey, what's the golden one? That seemed like really important. Oh, did I say something when I was looking at Snowy? I'm so sorry. I, mm. I, I don't seem to know what, uh, unfortunately, what the sight or the tree tells me. I'm simply a vessel for the tree itself. Mm. Uh, some people call me mad, uh, Mad Madam Elra, but who knows? Uh, Snowy here knows. Snowy knows I'm right. Mm. Uh, as Betty, you, uh, ha your baggage has just been triggered, so please remind me on what your baggage is. My baggage is naive. Uh, I see the good in everyone, but I'm often taken advantage of. Great, uh, because you've been paying so much attention to this woman, uh, you don't notice the sleight of hand that has happened kind of uh, at your side. 
Oh, well, that was a really good trick, lady, but, uh... Hmm, where'd my... Where'd my pack of mushrooms go? Hey, guys, did you see... Did you guys see my... My mushrooms? No, you just no. had them. You just had them, like, two seconds ago. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I look around the tavern to see if I can tell who has taken my, my mushroom bag. Um, I'm very skeptical of this woman. You are. Can I, can I come over and just, like, see what I know? If I know what I know, if I know. <laughs> if you know what you know, if, if you know. If I know what I know, you know. Sure. I'm no. going to say, uh, let's see, you want to... Um, Mm -hmm. mm -mm. I'd say that's either a get personal or a get situated. I think I get situated. Yeah, you're going to assess the situation. Yeah. Let's do it. Roll 2d6 plus your canny. Uh, canny? Betty, you did okay. not see who took your mushrooms, so now you're kind of out of mushrooms. Oh, my God, guys. Because, because you were naive and taken advantage uh, of. I got a seven. <gasps> I think you could re-roll if you wanted to. Well, how many do we have? Yeah, how many do we have left? Re -rolls? Uh, six. Oh. One. Well, one. I'll do mm, seven. Okay. What are the odds? Be worse, though. Better not be worse. Don't be worse. Ah, uh, oh, crap. Well, there goes all our <sighs> We got guys. five. We got five. I <laughs> got a three that time. Do it again. Oh. You know what? For the story, I'm just going to not. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh. It'll be better for the story. I gotcha. Way to go, so, D. Uh, Sorry, Betty. You, I, yeah. you can't get any read on this woman. You mm. you know what? Yeah. She's just crazy. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> I start going around to the other patrons and trying to shake them down for <laughs> any drugs or candy or mushrooms I can find. <laughs> uh, you see a man kind of like this kind of scrawny looking guy in the corner kind of making eye contact with you and being like, What's up, bud? Uh, hey. Hey, uh, you're Betty. <laughs> you're Betty of the Rat Queens. Uh, and that's Hannah. He points to Hannah. And, and that's Violet. Oh, he points to Violet. And that's D. He points to D. Uh, but I don't know where Bragg is. That's so, where is she? <laughs> we all know our own names. What do you want from us? <laughs> do you uh, have any mushrooms? Uh, no. Oh, man. Unfortunately not. I know you like them, though, because I'm your biggest fan. Thank you so much for this NPC. It is Dave. Not one of the four Daves, but the fifth Dave. He's a bard, and he's the Rat Queen's biggest fan. He's written oh, songs God. about their greatest adventures and keeps hinting <laughs> that they need to add a bard to the party. No. Dude. Look, if you keep pointing, no. I will break your finger off. Let me just, Betty, let me just, hey, let me just play you a little jam. Uh, oh, I wrote God about, damn it. I will break your uh, hand off now. Logan. Palisades, Palisades, oh. the Rat Queens came and saved Palisades. He's like strumming like a very bass looking like liar. That's not bad. I mean, is that it? Stop. Did, we, did him. we get our eggy, bready, bakey yet? I haven't eaten it yet. I did we get some mead yet? Uh, as you say, this kind of uh, uh, maestro comes out from behind the kitchen and has the the four plates he kind of tosses on the table. Yay! All right, let me go get let me go get your mead. Thanks, maestro. Come on, Betty. I mean, oh, come on. You know you need a bard. I mean, you got Hannah, who's like real good at the destructo magic. You got you got D, who's real good at like clerical magic. Uh, but don't you need like you need an inspiration? You need someone to inspire no. you. This would be real fun. My friend Betty. just told me that you have to go to bard college to be a licensed bard. Oh, I did. Check it out. And he pulls out his bard degree that he has uh in his pocket at all times. Wow. That's real good. Dave. That's kind of impressive, though. Hannah! My question to you is, why haven't you joined the other Daves? Leave us the fuck alone and go be their bard. Well, I mean, when uh, Dave gets really sad. Well, I mean, when um, when the battle of Palisades happened, well, I mean, uh, they lost a Dave. And, well, you, you can't replace a Dave with a Dave. I You're mean, a Dave! I, as a Dave, I know that. And I also know you can't replace a Dave with a Dave. Uh... I could never fill the Dave hole in their Daveness. Do I you have tits? No. You can't be in our fucking band. I go to get my food. But I, I made myself my own little belt emblem and everything. And you say that he's made like this kind of handcrafted wooden carved, very poorly wooden carved uh, Rat Queen's emblem. It's like very, it's not even very pointy. It's very boxy and it's very like minimalistic. Oh, it's a good first try. Keep at it. You'll get it eventually. Thanks. Uh, let me just let me just sing you one more song. I think I'm okay to hear one more. I mean, I, we've already heard enough people's feelings today. I'm just drowning myself in meat, so I'm not even paying attention anymore. <laughs> and, I, and I take my plate and I go over to the, the board so they can do whatever the fuck they want. One more song? Oh, sure. God. For you, Violet. 
I'll sing the song I wrote about you. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Violet Blackforge of the Dwarven Blackforges. She left her family and her brother behind. She's the best fighter around. Don't mess with her, cause she'll fight you and then shave her beard. And he just keeps rocking out, like right at your table as he puts one foot on the chair. Violet Blackstone, she black forge. Oh gosh, no. Uh, <laughs> shoot, I'm embarrassed. I messed up on the lyric. Oh no. As you see him kind of tear up and kind of head out the door and just, he's so embarrassed that he messed up on your name. Uh, Dave, Dave, Bard Dave, <laughs> fangirl of the Rat Queens bolts Ugh. out of the Black Seder. Hannah, uh, yes, as you are by the pin board, you see uh, this woman who's dressed in kind of this nice uh, velveteen dark blue blazer pinning things on the board that seem to be advertising posters. Isn't it a little warm for that jacket? She turns to you. Oh, isn't it a little cold to be a bitch? <laughs> And she goes back to putting, uh, to putting up, uh, putting up these posters. I, uh, I put some bread in my mouth and I um, tap her on the shoulder. Mm. That didn't make any sense. Like, whether it's cold or warm, I could be a bitch. It's like not too cold to like be one. So that like was like a, a comeback that didn't make any sense or it didn't. Also Can you finish your sentence before you diss me? Thank you. As she continues to pin the board. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you you don't know who I am then. Is that right? You don't know who we are. We saved the world. Because, you know, I could kick your ass right now. Uh, she continues to pin on the board, and she doesn't make eye contact you, with you, but she does ask, uh, yes, who are you? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, uh, you know what? It's not important. I just, uh, the best uh, marauding. I, like, throw eggs up and, like, throw it up in the air and try to make it in my mouth. Uh, roll me 2d6 <laughs> plus your skill, because that's a range. That's a range <laughs> move. It's a range attack in your it's mouth. It's a range attack in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> a range attack of breakfast in your tummy. Uh, plus my what? Your skill. That's a four. Do you want to <laughs> use one of your five re-rolls on this? Um, just no, drop the no, eggs. Not drop worth the it. Eggs. No. Not worth it. Your pride's not worth it. No. Uh, yeah, no, it's not worth it. I just like throw it up in the air, and it completely misses. I, I meant to do that. And uh, just letting you know that uh, we're the, the the baddest bitches that could do whatever easy task you have. Have a nice day. Betty rolls in and takes the egg on the floor and eats it. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, the woman kind of stands up straight for a sec as she kind of turns to you and gets a better look at you, having not really looked at you at all during this exchange. Oh, I do know who you are. Great. See you later. She approaches you uh, with her hand outstretched. Uh, Aveline Ibbett, perhaps you've heard of me. I am the head of the Palisade Planning Committee. I'm also the head of in charge for the Summer Solstice Festival. You know the one coming up? She points to the poster on the wall uh, where it says, uh, Palisade Planning Committee presents the Summer Solstice Festival. Drinks, games, music, merriment. Definitely no summoning of uh, Squiddy Gods. Uh, oh, cool. Great, great. Uh, totally not our bag of tea. Uh, but you have a great time with that. No, 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 please. And she uh, makes her way to the table. Oh, you must, you must all be the Rat Queens. <gasps> oh, are you, here to, are you here to see the board? She points to the board. Yeah. Yeah, actually, we were. We got really distracted. We need money. You need money? That is so wonderful because, oh, you know, uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to be so honest with you all. Um, she pulls up a chair and just kind of gets comfortable oh. on the table. <laughs> Listen, um, as you know, with the, with the thing, that happened with Palisade a little over a year ago. We've we've been desperately needing a a good a good festival, a good a good tourist event to attract other people to come to Palisades. These these repairs, the 
the things that we've done to make the city good again. It, it, it wasn't without a cost. And so, well, it's, it's my job to put on the best summer solstice festival there is. So, uh, whoo, and it's a lot of work. There's a, there's a lot of things and there's not a lot of good things that happen here as, as I am one to know. Um, if, if you could all help me just, Perhaps this one task, and if it and if it seems all right, then I'm I'm happy to pay. Oh, I'm happy to pay. We have a we have a budget. We actually do have have a budget for uh, ensuring that this festival goes well. Uh, mainly meant for guards, but I'm happy to to give it to you to make sure that well. This is what I'm asking. You see, um, we are except expecting a shipment of mead from, well, the Mustang Meadery. A uh, very, very well-known meadery, as, I, as I'm sure you've all heard of. It's, a, it's kind of the new and up-and-coming one, micro-brewed meadery. It's, it's the newest thing. Um, and we, well, we were hoping so desperately that uh, oh, well, we'd have this wonderful mead here and that we'd be the first, the first festival to have it. And there seems to be uh, trouble on the road, of course. Uh, uh, none of, none of the... Monsters? Monsters, Runners? yes. None of the carriage men I've hired have, have wanted to make the way to Raven's Hollow. No, they say, no, too dangerous. Things on the road. Don't want to go get that special mead. Why don't you use the mead we have in Palisades? It's cheap. <laughs> she starts to <laughs> weep at the table. Please, I, 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 it's silly, I know, but, um... Look, I can promise you 300 gold a piece. Oh. Uh, oh. oh. Mm. Is, is that not enough? I'm. Yeah, I don't know. It just sounds like a really routine, easy job for us. And we usually make, like, you know, a thousand yeah, no, we don't. gold we don't really when know. we do jobs like this. Because not just does our skill come along with us, so does are infamy. Hannah, <laughs> I need you to roll me. <laughs> roll a girl. I need you to roll me. Let's see. Yep, I'm going to need you to roll me uh, 2d6 plus your heart. <laughs> oh, God, mm -hmm. thanks. Cool. Six, eight. Oh, thank you so much for the re-rolls. We are now back up to nine re-rolls. Yeah. Oh. Phew. Thank <laughs> I mean, goodness. it's not bad. I'm gonna do. Uh, I want to win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> win okay. No. Nope. Oh. So, that, oh. so that's, that's two. Re two. So that's you have seven left. Hannah. No, I've done oh, one. Re one. Sorry. Hannah, don't, don't fuck this up. Okay. We. Fuck. God damn it! Do, do, do one more. Just one more. Hannah. Just one more. <laughs> All right, Hannah. Oh yes. Ten. Ten. Oof. <laughs> it's important. We need money because you yeah, do a lot of drugs. And she got robbed. That's true. I we don't. Mushrooms. You said you said a, a thousand a piece. I mean, that's even our low rate. Oh, uh, she puts her head in her hands. But we'll do it for eight hundred. Eight hundred. Uh, I yes. see that you're under a lot of stress. Yes, and right. uh, well, and well. Uh, look, I, I, you're the best. You're the you're the Palisades best. Um, so yes, let's do eight eight hundred a person. Uh, Mm. A person. <laughs> a person. To pick up, oh. person. Mm. To pick up some, some meat. Oh, yes. You see, I, uh, all the, all the other, all the other committee ladies and, and gentlemen and people are just going to laugh at me. I know they are. Spending, spending this much money to make sure we get this, the Mustang Meadery at the Summer Solstice Festival. I, I just want it to be good. I just, it's what this town needs. It's what... It's what we all need. I fully, fully agree with you. This is very, very important. Yes, it is. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we are honored to take this mission for you and make sure that the Mustang Meadery gets to the Summer Solstice Festival. <sighs> Can we pay in advance, though? Oh, uh. Um, yeah, we're gonna have expenses yeah. for the road. Yeah, I mean, and let me see what I have. Journey. Let me see what I have on me. And she like kind of pulls out her little coin purse. <laughs> um, 
I, I only have uh, 400 on me, so that'd be 100 down payment apiece. I know it's not much. That's fine. I'll take it. Great. Great. She empties her she empties her whole entire coin purse out on the table and kind of distributes yeah, it. Yeah, I definitely don't let you take all 400 of no. the gold. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. You see, this is going to be so wonderful because, oh, we're going to have it. We need that mead. Need mm -hmm. that mead. Yes, and need mm -hmm. that mead. Need it. Need yes. the mead. You start to you hear. just leave it up to us. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? Thank you. <laughs> yes. But make sure, like, you know, hire performers and have activities and, oh, you know. Oh, we have, we have, don't get me start. We have yeah, no, the best seriously, bards we're good. coming. We have Ooh. the best. We're going to have music. We're going to have festivities. We're going to have food. We're going to have amazing feats of splendor. We're going to put Palisades back on the map. That sounds fun. And make this an annual shindig that, that everybody wants to come towards. I'm inviting all of the best from all across the realm. Oh, yes, and we're going to have the Mustang Meadery at... The festival. That's, that's I have a right. little bad feeling about her, but should we? I just let that go and we I just take the money. I think you can do whatever you'd like. I think, yeah. I just want to get personal. You want to get personal with her? <laughs> Great. I'm sick of her, but I think that's exactly right. That's why you're Violet, and I'm not. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, just a seven. Just a seven. All right. Uh, you can ask her one question. Are you hiding anything from us. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too late to, to help her? <laughs> yeah, you already rolled. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, I don't believe so. I have the, the purest of intentions. Perhaps the only thing I am hiding from you is my inevitable fear that I'm going to disappoint those around me and that this <laughs> festival will be a complete failure. Oh, yeah, you're and not I hiding be that. Seen no, no. As a, yeah, that's, that's and I'll be demoted from the planning committee and then my, mm. my place as a society woman will be tarnished forever. Yeah, oh, you might as well get a t-shirt with all yeah. of that printed on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what I'm hiding from everyone. Okay, thank not, you for your time. Well. That's thank okay. <laughs> she takes a piece of bread from your plate, Violet, and starts to kind of cry eat it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just take it. Uh, Elra in the corner just cackles and laughs again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Remember that part? Yep. <laughs> the golden one. The golden one. What does this thing do with anything to do with our upcoming quest? I mean, listen, it's probably just the ramblings of a crazy lady who's in a bar trying to make some money. Oh, yeah. I completely disregarded it the second I heard it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. She was petting that owl. Mm, I don't know. The owl made her seem more believable to me. Oh. Are you high right now? Are you high right now? I well, I don't know how many how much time has passed. I did take the, uh, the Gondor. 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 I say it's enough time has passed, and you got your some food in your tummy, so it's kind of definitely a worn off. Or it just hit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know. You know, there's a slow release on some of those. Thank you, and uh, thank you all so much. Here, let me give this to you as she pulls out um, kind of a piece of parchment. All right, so. The, the Mustang Meadery, it's located right outside of Raven's Hollow. Um, you just have to go up the Eastern World, the Eastern Road, sorry. I'm still a little caught up from <laughs> being so honest. Uh, <laughs> go up the Eastern Road uh, to Raven's Hollow. Uh, you're going to go through the Midgate Forest. See, okay, well, I didn't tell you that. That's the forest that nobody wants to oh, go I'm through. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Yes, uh, perhaps that, oop, I'm telling you now. Uh, you know, said... She asked you if you were hiding anything. Well, I was told you that the coachman did not want to go because they they didn't think it was a good idea. It's a thousand gold pieces per person. It's 800, actually. 800, yeah. 800. I mean, the only thing that's bad about the Midgate Forest is goblins, and apparently I I hire the, the only coachman in Palisades that hate and have a morbid fear of goblins. It's because they probably have penises. What, the men or the goblins? Both. Sure. Anyways, all you have to do is once once you get there, you talk to the owner, and he will gladly provide you with the the wagon holding the mead that you will then please, please, please drive safely here. 
please. That is part of it. Oh, I will say that's part of it. If it breaks on the way or if something happens to that meat, uh, I will only pay you half. Oh. You can't make conditions oh, whoa, 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 whoa. now whoa, whoa, whoa. after you've agreed. Also, can you make sure that they pack it properly? That's not on us if they don't like, you know, put cushions and packing peanuts between the, Mustang, the bottles. The Mustang Meadery is one of high quality. They want to be at this festival as much as possible. So I know that Greg is going to do everything <laughs> in his power to make sure that this mead is packed well. I just need to make sure that there's literally no bumps in the road. Ha 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 when you deliver it here. You are growing increasingly shrill. Yeah, the ears. mid gate forest is looking pretty good right now. Yeah. Yeah, let's uh let's do it. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll be good. We'll we'll get you your mead. Your festival's gonna be great. Don't worry at all. Everything's gonna go perfectly. I trust you. You know what? I just you. You're D. I She's am D. D of the Rat Queens. I'm D of the Rat Queens. It's true. Thank you. And as uh, our rat queens then pack up to engage and begin their quest to the Mustang Meadery, we are going to take ourselves a quick break. So stick around. We will be right back. Thank you so much for participating, and we'll see you in a few minutes. All right. Hey, what's up? I'm Zach, the CCO of Hyper Rabbit Power Go. And this is Malika Lim, the CEO of Hyper Rabbit Power Go. And we're here to tell you about all the awesome stuff we have in store for 2019. So 2018 was an amazing year filled with all sorts of really fun stuff. But as you can see, if you've been watching our content, we're in a new studio. And with that new studio comes a lot of other really exciting changes. So why don't you tell us, Malika, a little bit about who we are and what they can look forward to. Well, we're a wonderful place for friends to come and tell stories to together through tabletop RPGing, playing video games, talking about our favorite movies and comic books, and we have so much exciting stuff in store because we have a whole new roster of brand new shows. That's right, and over the last couple months we've been looking at what we think best encapsulates everything that we did in the last three years as a company, and we think we've come up with a really great way to move forward to journey onward with you guys. Over the last year, we traveled the world together. Um, we told amazing stories. We even experimented with doing live, interactive, choose your own adventure, horror stories. And all of those had kind of a couple central themes involved in them. This feeling of togetherness and closeness and the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts were a huge inspiration to us and moving forward with the company and creating this feeling of sitting around a campfire telling stories together. And also having an open heart and an open mind about following adventure wherever it takes you, whether it's in a fantasy or a horror or a sci-fi story or you know even in real places in real life so to exemplify these changes we're going into a new visual and stylistic direction we're still the same people and we're always going to be telling stories with you guys but we're excited to unveil some new visual pieces like new key art new logo new website mm -hmm. uh, new look to the studio uh, new overlays all of that stuff coming to better match with our new look and feel. So why don't we talk to the people involved with the new shows about what's coming up. Hey y'all, I'm Brandon and I'm the Game Master for the upcoming Warhammer 40k show here at Hyper. And behind me is our lovely cast. Minus one, Matt Acevedo. He's not here, so boo him please. Ooh. Thank you, thank you very much. We just got out of a rehearsal and we're so excited to bring you tons of awesome battles uh, and hammers. Uh, but remember, in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only... Whoa! Hey, what up? We're Lou Berger. We're a comedy music group. You may have heard some of our songs before. He looks around and chooses the urinal on my right. Why, why? If I were a Disney princess, I would have everything at my fingertips. We've got a brand new show coming to Hyper RPG. We're turning video games into live, improvised musicals. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jessica Lynn Birdie, and I am playing Hannah from Rat Queens. Hi, I am Laurie Jones, and I am playing Violet. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I am playing Betty on Rat Queens. Hi, I'm Riley Silverman, and I am playing Braga in Rat Queens. Hi, I'm Elisa Pearl. I am super excited to play D in Rat Queens. Hi, my name is Emily Rose Jacobson, and I am the game master for the Rat Queens RPG. It's a really awesome comic that's not only about these women who kick ass, but also their 
intense and important relationships to each other. They are a family. And it's those relationships that I'm so excited to explore in this RPG and that I can't wait to create some chaos in. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here to announce the beginning of Colock 1991. It's going to be coming to you in February with this amazing group of people. I'm oh so gosh, excited. Thank you for saying that about us. Where are they? Oh, us, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna get to deal with that every week. This is gonna be great. Uh, no, it's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be taking place in the same world that Ten Candles took place in, but we're gonna be using a new system called Kids on Bikes. It's basically Stranger Things meets Twin Peaks. I can't wait to take you on a very strange and weird journey. Alex Neese gonna be composing all the music. Uh, Monica Magana is gonna be doing the official art for us, and it's gonna be really, really exciting, really, really weird. So make sure to tune in and check it out. Thanks. Also a spin class, so in case you wanna. Who told you that? <laughs> now that's just the first quarter of 2019. There's a lot more we want to do throughout the rest of the year. We want to do more choose your own adventure, like IRL live streams, going to new places. Traveling around the world, more stories, podcasts, doing some more innovative and creative podcasts. And visiting new worlds in our tabletop RPG streams. That's right. You can expect all sorts of this exciting stuff, so make sure to check out our YouTube and Twitch to stay up to date on all the things coming in through the pipeline. So there's a lot of things that are very important to us here at Hyper RPG, so we came up with a brand new creed. So please join me as we say it. Put up your bunny ears. I vow. I vow. I vow. I vow to follow the adventure wherever it takes me. To keep an open heart. To keep an open heart. To keep an open heart. And an open mind. To welcome all people to the table. To welcome all people to the table. I will do my part to fight for what is right. To fight for what is right. Fight for what is right. Show respect for others. To show respect for others. Show respect for others. Value my own voice. Value my own voice. Value my own voice. And together, and together, through this bond, through this bond, we will journey onward. everyone welcome back to hyper rpgs rat queens rpg to everyone joining us on the front page thank you so much for tuning in we do this show live every wednesday night at 7 p.m pacific time so you are having the great advantage of getting in on the story now as this rpg takes off and if you are interested in getting Rat Queen's comics, there's a new one that came out today. You can visit your local comic book store or your favorite comic book app and grab yourself some copies of Rat Queen's and see exactly where we're pulling these characters from, their source material, their backgrounds, and whatnot. Additionally, you have the power to influence this show, of course, by going to oneshot.straylogic.com and tipping to add rerolls, add baggage, add combo moves. We have not seen a combo move yet, and we may be approaching some hmm, combat for the first time. Yeah. So if you're feeling like a combat move or a combo for the combat move, go <laughs> ahead and uh, give us a little combo move for us to use. And of course, thank you so much for these wonderful NPCs. I'm loving fleshing out the world of Rat Queens with you all. <laughs> this is an absolute joy. This show is 100% funded by you and your contributions. So thank you so much for helping us be a part of the story and becoming a part of the story yourselves. So, where we lost, where we last left off, our, whack, our rat uh, queens. Lost left off. Lost left off. Our rat queens had been given their quest by the head of the Palisades Planning Committee mm -hmm. to make their way to the Mustang Meadery to bring the mead that was so, so desperately needed <laughs> for the Summer Solstice Festival in Palisades. Uh, what have you all packed? <laughs> for this endeavor. Oh, I have my, um, my, uh, you know, wand, my quarterstaff, uh, <laughs> like an extra pair of underwear, uh, <laughs> and yeah, like maybe some food. 
I have restocked up and spent 50 gold on mushrooms, candies, <laughs> and other medicinal <laughs> items of the uh, the fun and the poisonous type to use in battle. Um, I've got uh, my dagger, my short sword. Um, I purchased a couple of darts, just in case. Um, I have um, just like a bunch of like sweet rolls <laughs> and yeah, and just the clothes on my back and then that's it. But I have my uh, I have my sword, my hand axe. I have all the pairs that that cute little girl gave me. <laughs> winning, and, uh, you're, you're stuck. Winning, you got eight pairs. Got eight pairs, <laughs> and uh, I got my razor uh, because I think I'd be embarrassed if my beard came back in on the trip. And then I also have uh, some eyeliner. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> nice choice. Um, yeah, I have um, my shield. Uh, my scimitar and healing potions and um, I also have some face some face makeup and paints to refresh my my white dots for mm -hmm. n uh, Narai Goth uh, yeah do you have a do you have that book with you or do you have any of your books that you picked up with you oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> I have both of them both Wonderful. of the new ones with both me. of the new mm -hmm. ones Wonderful so as we we find our queens, at the beginning of the Eastern Road, right outside of the Eastern Gates of Palisades, uh, you're making your way down the road. Uh, it's a very, very lovely summer afternoon. It's a little warm, a little humid. You are kind of by the sea, so there is, you're kind of out of the sea breeze. You're much more in kind of the woodsy, foresty area. Um, as you see a, a gentleman kind of standing against a signpost pointing to Palisades up the way kind of casually leaning against it. So he so the the signpost is pointing to Palisades. Yes, and he's really cooling casually. Does he, the leaning. sign say now leaving Palisades Palisades or welcome to Palisades? The sign is much Bless more of sign. a directional sign for those on the road pointing to yes, Palisades is this gotcha. way. Gotcha. What does he look like? Uh he has slicked back kind of brown hair. He's kind of dressed in a popped black a uh, little collared shirt that has ties on it. He's got a nice brown vest, some tight black pants and black boots. I'd like to um, analyze him to see if I could figure out anything like where he's from, what he does for a living, what kind of person he might be. If he's hot. <laughs> hot or not dot com. Great. <laughs> uh, and Betty, unfortunately, because you have a baggage. That's right. Your baggage is that you are naive. And you believe you believe the best in oh, everyone. No. <laughs> you yeah, no. completely trust this guy, and you tell the whole team there is nothing to fear. This guy is for—he's legit. Uh, Betty, how could you know that? Cause he looks super cool. Look how he's leaning against that sign, like only a cool guy would. Is there like a defining style that he has? Like you know, we're all like, I'm, she's a hipster. I'm a rockabilly. Does he like look like a surfer dude? Does he or like what? Like what's his hotness? He looks like uh, the medieval version of a greaser. Mm -hmm. That's I'm, exactly what I I fully <laughs> believe you. Hey, what's up, dude? He nods. What are you leaning? Are you tired? Why are you leaning on that sign in the middle of nowhere? Kind of like looks off to the side. Oh, he's too cool for us. Cool. Well, that guy's a lot of things, but he's not too cool for yes. us. I'm being yeah. sarcastic. Oh, sorry. I, I'd like to get situated and see if I can pick up anything about this, this cool dude. Great. Uh, roll me 2d6 plus your canny, please. Uh -huh. You mean my no canny? <laughs> oh, two. Ooh. Well. Two. Well, we do have seven re-rolls left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't do worse than a two. <laughs> I literally I, I cannot say go for it. Take Truly. Oh. Six, what is seven, oh, eight. eight here. I'll, I'll stick with the eight. Wonderful. You can ask me one question about this guy. Okay. Um. Um. Uh, what <laughs> can we not? What What can we not tell from looking at him? What something about him that we can't mm -hmm. tell from looking at him? Gosh darn it! <laughs> <laughs> Good question! <laughs> D is part of our party! D is part of our party! You can tell that he does have malicious intent towards you. <laughs> you know what, ladies? Um, you can't trust him. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, do we need to castrate him now? 
Well, I mean, we should probably give him a chance, but he's probably going to disappoint us. Sorry, Betty. I just don't want to see us get messed up right as we we're about to start this mission. No, I, I think that's great insight and good to know. So we know how to handle ourselves. Oh, he's not talking Weapons to us. out. Oh, we could just keep walking. Oh. Yeah, he's not talking to us. So <laughs> easy. Yeah, but if we leave Palisades and he like does something mean to like somebody, oh. it, like it's kind of our responsibility. Like if you see something that's, and you don't do something, that's a good point. You know what I mean? So maybe we should do kick something. Kick his ass. Yeah, I'm cool with that. All right. Oh, we can intimidate the fuck out of him. Yeah. And mind you, we are saying this all in front of him. <laughs> Definitely. And he's just looking away. I have a question. Who are the closest two people to him? Oh, yeah. I, I'm going to say it's probably me and you. Probably me too, you too. yeah. Great. Uh, as soon as you take one step towards him to intimidate him, suddenly you hear snap of tree branches <gasps> as you are pulled up into the oh, air by no. this net trap. He did not. Who didn't even get him? Aww. And he jumps from the sign and he tail he pulls out a black bandana and he puts it around his eyes and he says, You have been fooled <laughs> by the highway man. <laughs> we already, we already saw your we face. Already dude. Saw your face. <laughs> I look to the side. You have been fooled once again by the highway man. I'm gonna just get stabby real quick. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just get one in real quick since he's so into his All right. shtick. Uh, <laughs> what an idiot. Roll me uh, 2d6 plus your guess. The Ugh. highway man. So uh, <laughs> Benny and Hannah, you Ugh, are in a trap that is up in the air. I'd like to fireball uh, at the, at the like, um, you know, the wood. No, 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 the rope. The rope. Yeah, okay. I'd like to reroll. Yeah. Okay, a reroll, great. You are at five. Eight. Minus one. Oh, seven. Oh, okay. seven. I'm going to stick with that oh, because can, just, in, yeah. I, I would love to just also quickly get Stabby right behind her. Can okay, I do that? so you can do that as well. Okay. Uh, let's see. So yeah, D, as you kind of quickly get Stabby, uh, you, you use your scimitar? Yeah. You use your scimitar and you kind of whip it out and you go to kind of knock him a bit. You give him uh, a nice cut on yes. the arm as you kind of nick his arm, uh, the arm that was not wielding his rapier that he's just pulled out. Uh, but unfortunately, as you kind of full-bodied swing on him, he kind of gets you <gasps> in your side for uh, two points of damage. Oh, oh mother. Oh, but a scratch. Bow. But a <laughs> You're not going to have balls by the end of this. You suck. Ah, a <laughs> strike by the highwayman. Oh, my God. All right, dude. <laughs> Can I do it? Yeah, do it. And can I do the fireball? Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, wait, wait, what? Is this skill? Uh, I it's skill guts. guts. Oh no, so it's a seven. It's a seven. All right. Uh, describe to me how. Yeah, you're gonna. Are you, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna use your axe or your sword? I'm gonna use my axe, and I'm just gonna uh, uh, put it, carry it over my head, and then just just go down towards his shoulder. Wonderful. Yeah, you do that, but he kind of. Uh, out the way and only gets uh, kind of nicked in the shoulder a little bit. <sighs> As unfortunately, he kind of does the same move that he did to D on you as he kind of pokes you real oh. quick in the other, in your left side. Another strike <sighs> by the highway, man. Oh my God. So I'd like to think I was defying <laughs> danger there. Is that correct? Or uh, in order to do the fireball or? I'm going to say because you already are in danger, you did not defy it. So oh. I'm going to say you're using <laughs> a ranged attack. So okay. you can use some skill. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, but it's a nine. It's a nine. I'm going to stick with it. All right. And my intention at the top was to hit, because I figured we're tied up by the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. Or are we in different rope? No, you're holes? in the same. You are in the okay. same kind of wide okay. rope okay. mesh net. Okay. Uh, yes, Hannah, as uh, as D and <sighs> Violet are kind of taking their, their licks at the highwayman below, you kind of shoot up a fireball with your wand. Unfortunately, your fire is a little too strong knowing that you are kind of just really PO'd by this situation. And the entire, as the net kind of falls, uh, it kind of, you all hit uh, the ground very, very hard, <laughs> each taking uh, two points of damage. Oh, yeah. uh, are they out of the net though? They are out of the I net, mean, but okay. the, kind of the fire has spread to the leaves around you. So now there's, uh, part of the environment is on fire. Uh. <laughs> Um, I want to also try to get, get stabby. I'm super, super, super mad that he tricked me. <laughs> you little tricked naive. You. Uh, great. Benny, I am going to give you the option. Uh, I'm going to say 
you are super upset. And so you look to Violet and you say, you're thinking combo move. <gasps> Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> slap this guy in the face. <laughs> He's going to cry and go home to his mommy. This is our first combo move. Okay. okay. Uh, so, how do we do this? It's an auto success. Okay. Oh, so, oh, oh, oh. Instead, more combo moves. <laughs> more <laughs> combo moves. <laughs> do you have a specific uh, Betty Violet combo move that you would like to do? I think so. I think we do. I think that um, that I'm gonna hand Betty my axe, and then I'm oh gonna God. pick her up, yes. and I'm gonna. I'm just gonna throw her body towards him, and she's gonna spin <laughs> and and knock him with the axe. Is there is there a name for this move? Yeah, uh, Betty, you always like to you like to say this name a lot. What when she's throwing <laughs> you? Yeah, what do you what do you like to be called when I'm throwing you? Perhaps the Betty Spinner. The <laughs> Or the top. The Betty Shredder. The Betty Shredder. The, the, smidge, Betty, the Betty smidgen Betty. Shredder. The, smi oh. the smidgen Shredder. I, come to think of it, that is the name. <laughs> <laughs> it suddenly hits you that, yes, this move that you have practiced with Betty before on many a training dummy Yay. is, in fact, called the smidgen Shredder. The smidgen, smidgen Shredder. shredder. Yes, as uh, you both kind of look at each other and nod as Betty, you run over. Grab I yell, the, uh, smidgen Shredder. Go! You run up, you grab the ax. Violet, you grab her by the legs, you kind of throw her around, and then you throw her in the direction of the highwayman, and he takes, ooh, he takes a lot of... Yes. Uh, We're gonna gets, kill him! Yeah, yes. you <laughs> nail that ax right into his chest cavity <laughs> as he is kind of staggering there and is just... Listen, loser, I'm you bad. have a chance to walk away with your life or we have a chance to walk away with it. What do you want? <sighs> Nobody outsmarts the highwayman. The highwayman. Okay. Oh, no. oh. as uh, he dies, oh! his his as he takes his final breath, his hands release uh, six smoke bombs uh. as all of these smoke bombs kind of appear. Uh, but as the clouds dissipate, his body's still there <laughs> because he's in fact dead. <laughs> I'd like to uh, I'd like to search his body. I know. I know. I knew you were going to say that. I have to. <laughs> I didn't really bring a lot on this trip. I <laughs> <laughs> underwear. All underwear. Right. Um, underwear is important. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right. You want to search the body? Yeah. I'm going to say you're going to roll me candy for that. You're going to get, this is a, a variation of get situated. You're situating the body. I know how to body. undress a man. Yeah. Well, you're going to see if you know, like, Fuck. <laughs> or do you? <laughs> what is it? Maybe you don't. Uh, five. You have five re-rolls left. I'm going to use it. All right. Because five's bad. <laughs> that's so good. Oh, okay. Ten. Oh, that's very good. Oh, I want the right. things this loser has. All right. All right. On him, you not only find a uh, hundred gold Whoa. and like a gold sapphire ring and a pearl Ooh. necklace. He probably stole those anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. idiot. Uh, you also kind of, in your search, you pop open his shirt where unfortunately he has this real big nasty gash that's just kind of ooh getting a little nasty but uh across his chest is this kind of bandolier of a variety of like smoke bombs little bitty daggers uh poisons yeah i'd uh, like to take that great i'm gonna say uh, which one would you like to take all of it all of it all right you get two daggers two smoke <laughs> bombs and two little vials of poison okay you're gonna share that with us right we all we all helped with this yeah, what you know. i have benefits the queen. You can't even nice. throw daggers. Bitch. <laughs> who'd, who'd let you into this group? I tried to just take the daggers from her. <laughs> All right. I, I hold her. Slight of, I tried to do sleight of hand, but she can I'm going to roll against her. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say you two roll against each other. Let's have a roll off. Fuck. Um, I got a five. I got a four. <laughs> 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 I think we have to keep it when it's a roll off. Yep. <laughs> it's a roll off, yep. <laughs> So yes, now, Betty, you have the two daggers? Yes, I the take the two daggers. daggers. I'll just use the poison on you in your sleep. Oh. What poison do you think I'm not well, immune to by this point? <laughs> that's true. I pop a mushroom in my mouth. Jesus. Uh, well, we have to get along, okay? It's just the beginning of the trip. We've already killed a man. Okay? Is, uh, is you're it telling worth, us. We're getting yeah. along just fine. We're great. We're great. Is it worth searching his body in to see if there's anything else, like... In his shoes, or because the bandolier thing, but maybe he had other stuff on it. I want to say that Hannah, because she ro did roll a ten, she okay. did a very extensive oh, that's uh, true. search. Okay. So I All even right. looked in his junk. 
to see if there was anything there. There was nothing there. There I still looked. There There was nothing there. Hmm. I would. I would have. I said I was a thorough check. You mm-hmm. think that guy was part of a group that's going to want to get revenge on uh-huh. us later? That's what I'm worried, a little bit worried about. <laughs> but also, was he, like, waiting for some other people that were going to come upon on the road or something? <laughs> He's dead, so. The highway we'll man know. suggests that uh, he was not part of any group. Mm. Is true. My, is the my highway singular. man. That's singular. true. Yeah, I wouldn't want to hang out with that guy. I think Me we neither. did the world a favor. Him a favor, too, by killing him. <laughs> yeah. Agreed. Moving on. Onward. Uh, I'd like to leave a note that says <laughs> to heart, his mom. heart, oh, no, you're the one with the guilt issues with the family. Clearly, clearly. Uh, I'd like to like do a heart rat, a heart rat, uh, rat on it. No, calling sign. Some people can know that we killed the straight mm-hmm. up. We killed the dude. We saved the town from a, a, a thief. They don't know. They it don't know. It could be turned yeah. real easy. I, yeah. I still do it. Hannah, I'm going to say that this uh, this does play into your baggage, so you can either, if you do act selfishly, this is just from a GM call, uh, this is your baggage, so if you, you can choose to act selfishly, or you can kind of forgo your selfish, you're, you can be selfless in this situation, perhaps sharing the wealth, perhaps uh, mm. not, not putting up a calling card saying that the Rat Queens did kill this man, and I will take one baggage away from the tension pool, well, of which there is four right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, Two more tensions and a real bad thing will happen. Oh. Here's, here's the deal. Because it hasn't been paid for that my selfishness has been activated, I'm going to go with selfless. You're going to go with selfless. Oh, thank nice. Goodness. Thank goodness. That doesn't mean I wouldn't have done it. But you didn't. I didn't. I mean, I heard reason. I am the most mature in the group. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you, uh, so, Hannah, you kind of pull out the gold and you kind of just... I distribute it, I uh, kick him in the balls, and uh, pocket a poison, give you a poison, ask for one of the daggers back, take a dagger, and I give you the smoke bombs. Mm. Thanks. So now we're all at 125, yeah, of gold? Uh, Yes. Really important information. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well... I spent all my gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, oh. twenty five. So, yeah. Wait, someone so was 100? keeping some of. Hmm? You, weren't you keeping some of Betty's? No, no, she was gonna take all of our four hundred. Oh, <laughs> so, 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 and that's yeah. not oh, how we not. roll. Excellent call. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. She's like, Thank I'll you. take it. I'm like, no. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, after defeating the the so highwayman that. They gave you some trouble. You now pocketing your new riches and new equipment. Uh, continue on the eastern road towards Raven Hollow. Uh, once you set out, it was kind of mid-afternoon. So as uh, dusk approaches, the green trees kind of turn a light golden as the sunset hits them and kind of lights the path ahead of you as perfectly you reach the beginning of the Midgate Forest kind of at sundown. Do you want to look around a little bit? Do you want to set up camp for the night? Violet, do you want to sing any dwarven tra- traveling Shh. songs that you're known for? I think we probably want to keep going, right? Or what do you what do you think? Question, you- what is the moon like tonight? Ooh, I mean, clear of a night. The is canopy it? is probably really thick in this Forest. Uh, forest and it's probably worse at night so. good question but it's a, it worse. is a new moon so unfortunately like it is probably a good idea plus you do have some kind of wounds that you definitely need to treat oh word. taking oh, a rest okay. would be all right recommended. We'll setting up camp you're camp. really gung-ho today violet i know it was, honestly it all started with winnie and uh, there are more important things than to talk about Winnie. So let's set no, up camp. No, I, I really actually we have a, well, the, we're, as we're setting up camp, I'd, I'd like to uh, pry a little bit more about Winnie. Um, my question to you is, did you actually intend to cut off her toes in like a scare tactic? Of course not. Of, well, I, not of course not. It sounds like something you would do. I'm not heartless. It's not heartless. Compassion. You're teaching her a lesson. I, I think that her intentions to be her own person is noble. I admire her. Her mom doesn't seem to think so. A lot of people's parents don't understand them. Yeah, you would know that. So we should set up camp. We are setting up camp while we're talking we about this. We should just focus on it more, I think. Fine. Great. Who is doing which uh, task is set up camp? There's bedrolls, there's food, there's fire, there's firewood. Mm, I'm gathering firewood for the fire. Great. 
Uh, Betty, as you gather <sighs> firewood uh, for the fire, uh, your innocence takes a hold of you, Aww. and uh, you see kind of a glimmer of light in the distance that kind of looks like it could be a fairy. Is it the drugs? You don't know. Hmm. You're going to go follow that light, though, and kind of uh, separate yourself from the party a little bit as you gather more firewood deeper into the forest. Um, Nothing bad's gonna happen to me. Well, <laughs> while she's doing that, I don't notice that she's left the area, and I start to create a sanctuary. This is one of my first level spells. Uh, a sanctuary, which is like I create a perimeter. You honestly had the same hit that I did. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, thinking we're all in this perimeter. <gasps> yes, and Dee, and unfortunately, <laughs> because you're feeling very, very worn by this trip and feeling very skeptical, you're just feeling uh, skeptical of this highwayman, skeptical of Hannah's actions, kind of skeptical of this religious talk that you had earlier with this woman. Uh, you unfortunately do not create that barrier very, very well. Uh, oh, what is going on? Nragath, come on, come through sometimes. Can I help her? Hannah, unfortunately, you are feeling incredibly selfish right now. And in your selfishness, you kind of start to regret the fact that you gave away gold and jewels <laughs> and uh, these other things. So you kind of storm off and kind of uh, do your own thing. And because we have reached <laughs> six uh, <gasps> and with the party separated and no barrier oh. created uh, none of you start none of you hear uh, the pounding of the forest as it sounds huh. like large steps are approaching this you. is don't literally hear this. Your we, fault. we don't hear it we don't, we hear, don't it. hear it I yeah but don't. like i can't hear anything over like the the screaming selfish voices in my ears <laughs> Um, I'm sitting by the fire and reading the um, the spicy book, <laughs> and I'm kind of yes. getting into it. Oh, and I'm just putting the damn tent up by myself. I have gone to go investigate this fairy. And I'm calling my mom. What is your conversation to your mom like on your on your necromancer uh, speaking stone? Avidus, mom. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. I, I just feel like I carry everything, and no one appreciates what I do for them. Do you have nothing to say to that? I'm I'm sorry. I was, uh, I was. Jesus, like even you too. No, sweetheart. Do you have something more important going on? No, I'm near Goth. I'm stuck in the void. Sometimes I get distracted. Listen, uh, if you're, you know what? I'm your only daughter, and I spent good time just to to contact you. And maybe I'm gonna be unavailable next time you want to contact me. Hannah, Hannah, darling, what's the real problem here? The real problem is I'm unappreciated. You know that that's not true. You know that each of those girls loves you so much, just like I do, and your father does. Yeah, but you're dead, and dad's a dork. So, so because I'm dead, that doesn't mean I care about you. No. Fuck, I don't know. Hannah, it does not matter where I go or where I am. I will always love you, and you will know that. And your friends love you so much too. And you know that they would do anything for you. They helped you save your father against the mages revolt and the mages council. Yeah, I know, I was there. They could have easily, they could have easily let you be there by yourself, go at it alone and, and who knows what would have happened to you then, but they didn't because they love you like I do. All right, Does, are, you, are you feeling a little bit better now? I guess so. How was your day today? Did you eat something good? I killed a man. Oh, um, you did? Yeah, oh, well, well, I mean, we killed it's, a man. It's just one. Um, what did he do? Uh, he tried to rob us. Well, he then put he me deserved in. it. Yeah, he totally deserved he put it. You, what did he put you in? Uh, I was in a trap. It was, like, really stupid. Oh, well, you got out of it. I'm proud of you, sweetheart. Thanks. All right. You feeling better? I don't know. It's fine. I'm a big girl. Yes, you are. You are my big girl. Okay, Hannah. I know I'm an adult. <laughs> All right, I will talk to you. When I talk to you. When I talk to you. Bye. I love you. Me too. <laughs> Betty, you find the twinkling out in the dark forest. Uh, it, in fact, was a dead fairy, a fairy kind of dying in its light as it whimpers on the ground. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Little one, what what has become of you? Uh, uh, 
You don't speak any uh, words? <laughs> oh, oh, you oh, see sheer okay. terror start oh, to form oh. in its eyes. I'm sorry. Am I, oh, am I scaring you? Okay, let's all calm down. Uh, I get a mushroom for you. Oh, God. It's going to calm you down. I break uh, a little piece off, and then I put it in your mouth. <laughs> Just a little bit. And as you put this mushroom in this fairy's <laughs> mouth, uh, it's kind of eyes roll back <gasps> as it's kind of... It's just supposed to chill you out. <laughs> it's not a very chill one. <laughs> so this is an easy, de easy death. <laughs> How you doing, uh, little guy? You cool? <sighs> uh, you have chilled this little fairy out. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, you do not see the giant troll behind you oh, no. that the fairy was pointing at and trying to warn you about <laughs> oh, no. any kind of dialogue. Oh, no. Uh, the troll then takes a huge swing at you. Uh, I'm gonna need you to uh, roll, see if you can defy danger to see if you just kind of sense it. I would say use skill because okay. you're a skilled uh, nimble thief. That is a five. A five. Mm. Plus your skill. Right. Oh, no, that's mm -hmm. a... We do have yeah, four re-rolls. Would you like a re-roll? I would love to re-roll right. that. Right. We have three left. Uh, that's way worse. Oh. I'm sorry. I got oh, all re-rolls. Two no. re-rolls. <laughs> it's a troll. You better, you better keep going. We don't want to yeah. die in the first uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Keep it, it stay. Uh, okay. Well, it's not great, but it's seven. Still. A seven. Oh, wonderful. So as uh, you sense that he's there, uh, instead of being able to, instead of just trusting your instincts and getting out of the way, you're, you're kind of what is that? Takes a better oh. hold of you. And so instead of moving, you slightly just turn your head as he kind of box you in the side of the head <gasps> for six points of damage. <gasps> oh, man. Uh, so, Betty, uh, would you like to run back towards oh, camp? Oh, you better. <laughs> I would. Great. <laughs> as you start to bolt your way back to the camp, mm -hmm. uh, you see the fire kind of slightly crackling in the distance. Uh, as you were sent to gather more firewood, Violet and Dee had started the fire without you. As the trolls just boom, boom, lumbering footsteps are, though they are slow, catching up very closely behind you. Hannah, all of a sudden out of the corner of your eye, you see a very fast smidgen blur pass you as then you turn <laughs> and see a large kind of gray stone-like yeah. troll uh, roaring and in pursuit of Betty. And I yell, troll, troll, Yeah, I know, I can smell it. Oh, God. Um, I'm going to immediately invoke my uh, necromancy, and uh, I'd like to um, hit it with the magic missile. A magic missile. Oh, wonderful. Throw me a 2d6 plus your skill. Six. Nine. Wonderful. So uh, as you do do this, uh, you do with your magic missile, you are able to kind of get the troll. Oh, where are you aiming for him with your magic missile? Well, I mean, what, he stands about 10 feet or uh, bigger? About 13 feet. Okay, yeah. I, uh, I'm going like for the, like, gir 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 loin loins? Gloin? <laughs> Gloin. His loins. Loin cloth? His loins. His loins. That area. Gird your loins, yes. Okay, gird your loins, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Great. Uh, my height is about at it. Yeah, that's where I'm going to go. Uh, as you fire this magic missile, <laughs> you do hit him straight in the loins as he kind of, ooh, kind of falls over <gasps> and uh, cowers for a moment. But as he kind of falls, his hand kind of swipes and gets you only for like a little bit. So you're just kind of, you're just kind of bashed a little bit. Was um, that a, a hit point or no? It was one hit point, yeah. Oh, I see. So you're just kinda, you were just kind of, he namely hit the ground right next to you. I see. And it kind of knocked you off your feet. But suddenly, Betty, you turn and you see Hannah's there. And this is the perfect opportunity for you two to work together. The troll is down yeah, on yeah, his yeah, knees. Yeah. What would you like to do? <laughs> Smidget! Uh, hey, Hannah, 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 Hannah. Stop hitting the hand that he, that he, the arm that he just hurt. He's down. Come on, let's get him. Okay, I'll uh, throw you on his back. And you can stick my uh, <laughs> wand up his nose. <laughs> Why don't we do the other one? <laughs> What's the other one? You tell me. Okay, I want you to keep him blinded, and I'm going to cut his Achilles tendons. Oh, Ooh. yeah, that's so much better. <laughs> I can't use your one, Hannah. <laughs> uh, Wonderful. No, it's uh, 
an auto success. So, uh, Hannah, yes, you raise your wand in the air. Ne uh, Necreus Blindo. As you summon your spell, suddenly there is a bright, <laughs> blinding light. Uh, Violet and D, you do notice all of a sudden there's a flash of light in the forest. You have heard kind of screams and, and yelling in the <laughs> distance, but now this light has definitely got your attention as for a brief moment, uh, the forms of Hannah and Betty are lit in the distance. Mm. Do we see the troll? Oh, yes, you do. He's kind of on his knees. Oh, oh, you should get over there. Yes, immediately. Uh, Wonderful. I'm grabbing my scimitar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's <laughs> no, great. As you grab your weapons and you start heading over towards the troll's general direction, Hannah, you've just blinded him as Betty. You slide uh, kind of around his legs as he's kind of on the ground, slicing each of the back of his heels, uh, exposing his Achilles tendon for girl. Uh, doing doing him pretty nasty. Yeah, that's pretty so, nasty. So uh, he now is kind of stuck. You have now handicapped him to the ground as he's kind of bleeding out of his head of his feet as he roars in pain up into the sky, causing the crows and owls and the neighboring trees to kind of suddenly take flight and fly off into the night. Uh, physically, is he like knees on the ground or is he like face on the ground? He's kind of, he's knees on the ground. He can't get himself back up. So now he's probably sitting around probably like six feet okay. with his knees okay. on the ground. Uh, as Hannah, uh, Violet and D, you suddenly are at the fight. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Huh. This is fine. J just, to in blood. <laughs> just to make sure we finish this guy off, right? I, uh, uh, can I try to talk to him first? Oh, God. Oh. You want to try and connect with this troll? Yeah. That is so sure. nice. I don't know. We're in his town, so like. It's very nice. I just want to, you know. You do, you do. Do you want to talk to him or do you want to like get to know, know what he's about? Like, tell me what you, what um, would you like to do? I want to know. Was he trying to hurt my friends? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Great. I'm going to say you're going to get personal with this troll right now. Okay. So roll me 2d6 plus heart. Is That's that an error? eight. That's an eight. Okay, great. Because uh, with a get personal, you are allowed one question. Oh, okay. Um, where is that? Okay. Um, yeah, what, what is he? What's, it, what's his deal? Was he trying to hurt my friends? Uh, suddenly, D, you are taking, uh, you have a moment of troll clarity where you feel that you are able to connect with this troll on a deeper level than perhaps the other queens as he kind of, his little stone eyes look at you as his tears well up and turn into like little icicles as they fall down his stony troll face. Oh. And you hear the sad tale of his troll family and how... Well, his troll wife has left him <laughs> and how he has to raise his troll son on his own. Oh. And he was just out kind of trying to protect his son because, well, they are the inhabitants of the, of the forest and they don't want any, he doesn't, he's just a father trying to protect his family, <laughs> trying to do his due diligence in the Midgate forest. But unfortunately he might've failed as a parent for now. Okay, I, I'm gonna say to him, that is a very sad story. You realize you are huge and my friends are tiny. How are we a threat to you? Why did, why did you hurt, why did you try to hurt my friends? And he pulls out a fist and he's going to slam it down at you, D. Oh, uh, crap. Uh, this is a defy danger. How do you want to get out of this one? Uh, do you want to use your I'm guts, your canny, your skill, or your heart? I'd like to... Uh, Dodge physically, just dodge. Try Great, to get out I'm gonna say that skill because okay. yeah. So we're choosing six plus your skill. You got three over here. I got a three plus one. That's not great. Oh wait, we have two re rolls left. <laughs> yeah, go Should for I it. Should I not die? It. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. You're I think, I think not dying is really important. <laughs> okay, it's okay. a ten. Ten. Wonderful. So yes, you are able to kind of quickly see that he cool. is raising his fist to come slamming at you as you kind of narrowly dodge back out of the way as his fist slams on the ground, shaking the ground beneath oh. you all. Oh. Not cool. I was trying to give you some advice and be helpful, but now you're going to die. Woo. Uh, I'd like to take my quarterstaff and, um, you know, clean his ears with it. You want to clean his ears? Well, you know. With your wand or your staff? My quarterstaff. Oh, you have a quarterstaff. Yeah. Great. Uh, or I don't know. What do I have? I thought I had a quarterstaff. I think you do, like a bow staff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Roll me 2d6 plus your guts. Anyone want to help me? 
I yes. can. Since so, I'm right there, I can help. So in this game, too, uh, Wait, one aspect of a dungeon world is your help or hinder. So depending on yeah. your bonds, so how strong your relationship is with Hannah. Uh, so do you want to help her, D? Uh, yeah, I do. Great. So roll me 2d6 and add your bond to Hannah. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> <Pretty> bad. <laughs> it, it's, it's good. It's nine. <gasps> it's a nine. All right. So, Hannah, you get to add one only a plus one Great. to this roll. Better than that would have been. <laughs> uh, what was I running? Pl uh, I was doing what? You were doing a, a stabby because you're getting real up close and personal with this troll. Which is guts. Yes. Oh, frick. It's like 13 or 14 with her <laughs> help. So. Great. So kind of D kind of looks at you and gives you a nod and is almost kind of taking the D. You distract the troll in the moment. You kind of wave your arms to get him to look at you as you get a perfect kind of look in his, his stony troll ear as you stab your staff into there giving him oh a real nice stab to the noggin as this troll just kind of turns to you did you let go of the staff no no i mean i'm in there i think i got stuck because uh, i feel like i hit brain yes you did <laughs> and your staff is stuck in there yeah uh, uh. as he's kind of like uh, he's just gonna swipe a hand down uh Betty, what do you want to do? Uh, right in front of you. Uh, I'm going to try to um, roll out of the way, but before I roll out of the way, I'm going to leave a mushroom that's poisonous. Um, that is, uh, if you touch it, you get poisoned. Great. Mm. Uh, roll me 2d6 plus, uh, I'm going to say canny, because you're going to exploit your enemy's weakness by poisoning him. Uh, yeah. 9, 10, 11. Wonderful. So yes, you kind of, uh, with a glint in your eye, uh, you I qu quickly uh, snatch out. What color is this mushroom? Hmm, let's find out, everybody. It's going to be... There's a lot of candy in here also. Red, pink. -ish. A pink. <laughs> so you take out a tiny fluorescent pink mushroom as you place it on the ground in front of you, quickly somersaulting back as his hand comes down on it, and suddenly a pink kind of... You see all of a sudden his stony hand kind of start to quiver and shake as this pink starts to kind of grow from underneath his palm to around his fingertips as this kind of, uh, this pink ooze slowly goes up his arm and then Ooh. seeps into his stony hand. As he kind of shakes his hand in the air, the poison slowly overcoming him as his eyes roll in the back of his <laughs> head as he kind of stumbles down to the ground. Uh, Violet, uh, he's falling in your general direction. What do you want to do? Uh, oh, I definitely need to roll away if he's yes. falling in my general direction. Uh, I'm going to say roll 2d6 plus guts because you are going to make a very strong roll away. Oh, goodness. I have a seven. We do have three rerolls. We have given, gifted some rerolls. So we have <gasps> three rerolls. Namaste. <laughs> uh, I have eight. That's still the same roll. <laughs> it's all right. A little better. So yes, uh, Violet, as he as his stony body timbers essentially down, <gasps> uh, you kind of slide ro roll off to the side. But unfortunately, your you had one. Your left foot was sticking out a bit, oh. and your left foot <gasps> kind of gets crushed by oh. the the side of his forehead. Oh. Violet oh. for three points of damage. Oh. You uh. stinky son of a Bilford Boggin. Hey. His corpse lies cold. <laughs> I spit on, the on it. You spit on it. Do you want to get your staff out of his brains? Yeah. Did I incur any damage by being on him? No, okay. you just was lodged in there. So You're like gonna I, have I to land, pull it out. I, la I land like oh. as he falls. So I'm like, <laughs> so I try to <laughs> try to get it out of there. I'm sorry. Roll me two d six plus guts. <laughs> plus guts. Don't fall into his brains. Two d six plus. Woo. Woo. How many rolls do we have right now? Two. Gonna use it. All right. I want my quarter staff without <laughs> some brains on it. Oh yes, yeah, so much better. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Wonderful. So yes. Uh, luckily, Hannah, you kind of like do a twist and pull out, I've and done this you, before. you successfully remove <sighs> your quarter staff without breaking it from uh, the rock troll's kind of brains. <sighs> I'm gonna run over and try to help get Thank her leg free. Yes. Thank you. Wonderful. Uh, uh yeah. Um. I'm gonna do that. 
<laughs> cool. I'm going to say that uh, hmm, we well have magic. Do you want to use magic or do you want to use your strength? Um, <laughs> I should probably use magic. Great. <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah, roll me 2d6 plus skill. You're kind of okay. going to try and kind of range and levitate this kind of at least her foot out a little bit. Okay. Or phase her foot out. Oh, no. Not good, y'all. I should probably re-roll. I well, really need to so have low. one okay. re-roll left. Right. One, all right. Yeah, it's okay, because they got to give us some more. Yeah. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Naragoth, don't do me dirty. <laughs> Six. Where are those re-rolls? Where are you? Can, <laughs> no, where, wh what is my... My foot is underneath his forehead, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Can I just decapitate him with my <laughs> sword so that it's a little less weight? Uh, unfortunately, as D tried to cast this levitating spell, you were able to do it a little bit, but because you're much more used to kind of clerical magic, uh, you kind of you kind of lift his head up, but unfortunately, you weren't able to hold his head oh up no. for very long as it slams oh back no. down no. on Violet's foot oh for four God. more points oh of damage. No. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll heal you later. I'll oh. heal you later. As I'm you so hear sorry. the crunch of Violet's ankle underneath oh. his. Uh. And this is all because of the tension pile. Yes. Uh, you got an ogre because of the tension oh pile. Oh my god. I'm, I'm going to heal you later. Someone please please free her. Oh god. Uh, Violet, you could, I will say this, you could kind of maybe like, you're pretty strong. Yeah. You're sturdy stock. I you am. could possibly kind of lift, because you're pretty close, uh -huh. so you could probably yeah. try to lift his head up and then kind of scoot your foot out of the way. I'd really like to do that. Can I help Great. her too? Thank you so much for the rerolls. We have five new rerolls. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank oh, you. Re so needed. Thank you. All right. Um, so, oh, can I, help, can I help Violet? Yes. Would you like to help Violet? Yes. Thank you, Wonderful. Betty. Uh, Betty, roll 2d6 plus your uh, bond, bond with Violet. Okay. Um, Ooh. That's, <laughs> that's a five. My bond is one. So that's six. All right. That does not help her. Oh, no. Is she going to die? Well, I'm unfortunately, here. if you try to help someone, there is a cost. Uh -huh. uh, on below, uh, you do expose yourself to some danger. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> Betty. Smidgen. Betty, as you were really trying to focus on helping uh, Violet out, kind of running to her side, you accidentally slip and fall on kind of the, the bloody, the blood and the brains that have been leaking out of this rock troll's head. Uh, and you take like a little spill for two points of damage. Oh. Violet, I tried to help you. <laughs> All right. Help. Do this myself. <laughs> All right. What do I, All right. Anything? Uh, anything I add to this? Nope. Oh, I got an eight. Uh, we do have five rerolls. Okay. Do it. Well. <laughs> oh, be, now we have seven. Thank, oh, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. And now we have six. Yeah. <laughs> I got a six. Do it again. Do, Do it, it again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you just need to get out of here. Ooh. I got six. Uh, can I, can I, oh. Well, can I help? No, wait, wait. Reroll, but also can I assist this next time? You want to assist? Okay. Yeah. You roll two. This is just an encouragement thing. Like, you got this. Come on. I believe in you. Thank I'm going to heal you so good. Thank you're going to you. get so much healing. <laughs> it's going to feel so good. I'm going to get you all, like, nice and healed after this. You just got to get out. So, do you want to, you want to. Heart. You want to. Can I, can I, it's like an encouraging thing. I, I'm gonna say, um, it's gonna be your bond with. It's gonna oh, be your right. bond oh, with yes, Violet. Yes. So yeah, that's so it'll be 2d6 yeah. plus your bond with okay. Violet. But right. I do love your encouragement. Okay, uh, seven. Seven, great. So uh, she does get a plus one, but you do, unfortunately. Uh, I expose myself. You now. expose yourself. <laughs> All right. Uh, to you some kind of damage. So you're just really encouraging, really encouraging mm -hmm. her. You take kind of a step towards her, and you don't notice either that this kind of brain mucus Ugh. is still on the ground as you kind of slip Ugh. and fall Ugh. your feet underneath <laughs> you for two points of damage. Uh. Are we a company of <laughs> fools? <sighs> so, Violet, because oh. that was, uh, you said it was seven, you do have a plus one. You have a, a plus, plus one. one. Okay. All right. That's a 10, 11. That's 11. Oh, Wonderful. Yes. <laughs> so, Violet, yes, thanks to the encouragement, the heart. Thank you, D. The inspiration from D. You use every ounce of your strength, gritting through the pain, gritting through that ankle as you slowly kind of uh, pull this rock trolls and lift his head uh, off of your crushed uh, foot as you very narrowly kind of swipe your uh, foot out in pain as his head falls to the ground and you are now safe oh, from oh, the oh, control. Oh. That was a shit show. That was yeah, we totally yeah. just have no mojo right now. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we're really tired. Maybe we shouldn't yeah. have killed Highwayman. 
bad look. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just a little embarrassed by everyone's participation in the killing. Trying to talk to a troll? What? I thought maybe he was misunderstood and he was trying to like, I don't know, maybe he was spooked or something. We don't have a good track record with trolls, guys. Last it's time true. we killed a troll. That was not great. No, and we had a whole troll army come back after great. us. Great. Touche, touche. So maybe we shouldn't camp here tonight or something? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe That's what I was trying to say to begin with. Onward. Onward. He said he has a son, so there might be another, like, troll teen coming after us soon. Oh. Also, I'm going to go check on that. I found a little fairy in the forest. I wonder if it's still alive. You are not allowed to wander off anymore. Okay, come, yeah. come with you. me. Also, just over there. I'm just going to, can I just heal? I want to do some healing. Yes, would you like right to kind of heal the, the group? Yes. yes. Actually, yeah. So uh, all these we, we, uh, you all kind of slowly make your way back to the camp around a fire, getting a little bit more warm, a little bit more comfortable, able to eat some of your food. Luckily, none of your things were taken while you had left them there. <laughs> oh, uh, very very amateurs. Amateurs. Uh, amateurs. So as yes, you sit around. Uh, D, who would you like to heal first? Vi. Thank you. Uh, do you have a healing spell as a cleric? Do I ever? Oh. Um, I have. This is. Is this considered a light wound or a moderate wound? I'm gonna say it's a moderate wound because her mm. her bones are pretty much crushed in her ankle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Poor Vi. <laughs> I'm gonna do cure moderate wounds. Yeah. Great. I'm gonna say uh, use your heart with this because yeah. Yay. Um. So roll me 2d6 plus uh, your modifier. Okay. So uh, that's a nine. Wonderful. What do your do your rules say? Anything yes. specific with that? Yes. Um, I roll. Uh, wait. Oh, I heal an ally I touch of 2d8 damage. Wonderful. Okay. I have the d8s right here at my disposal. Okay. Let's see. Great. You heal her for six points. Oh, Yay. Thank you. So, Violet, thank you. you are up to 17. As, yes, you feel the bones in your ankle <sighs> be kind of begin to mend together as your leg feels, once again, good and new. All right, my dwarven princess, you'll be fine. The ogre hit me super hard, too, please. <laughs> I come over to, to Betty, and um, what does she have? What's your <laughs> hit points? Oh. Uh, I'd say she's kind of moderate, too, because she's hanging around around 10. So Ooh. she's about half hit points, yeah. too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she got, the same. she got bunked a little hard. <laughs> same dealio. Um, do I have, I think, um, oh, I should be fine. I'm going to say yes. You can okay. do it again. Yes. All right. 2d6 plus your heart. Oh, Ooh. hey. Well, so definitely want to re roll that one. <laughs> a re roll. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, that's an eight. Wonderful. So 2d8. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I'll roll that right here. 2d8. That's pretty great. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, Betty, uh, you get real good. Uh, your head feels like, <laughs> oh, you just woke up after a really long nap. You, she even kind of styled your hair a little bit so <laughs> that, like, <laughs> your head is no longer hit, and you are back up to 18. Yay! Yay. Thank you, D. And then I come over to Hannah. I just, like, have, uh, you know, like a little scrape on my shoulder. You sure? Now's the time to say it. No, I'm saying just heal me, but it's like not a big deal. Just so like I'm, <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should save my magic? Capacity. It's up to you. I'm totally fine. Hannah, be truthful with each other. Ah! I'm fine. <laughs> she okay. messed up. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get that healed. It's Hannah. only four hit points. Yes, you only have, yeah, you're only down four hit points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same with you, D. You will say what, though? You're gonna say. We'll say, uh... This could be a moment you could act selfless. Why? <laughs> Just giving you the option. Oh, God. <laughs> no, it's nothing. Just giving you the option. Would selfless for her not to get healed? To uh, get selfless healed? for her to, or to get uh, admit perhaps oh. her weaknesses and that she is injured and she does need help from her friends. But if you don't want to, it's uh, totally fine. I, 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 I literally, you're the healer, and if you're healing everybody, I think it only makes sense to uh, put us all at peak fighting condition. So that you can later protect us all. I see what you're doing. That's very selfless of you, Hannah. <sighs> I'm going to heal her. Aww. Well, 2d6 plus your heart. <laughs> the heart grew Eight. seven. Oh, also, sizes. well, I'll do it later. I have another cool thing I can bump up. Ooh. I'll just say it. I have an advanced move that I can bump up all the amount of damage healed 
the, to the d- plus three, oh, basically. Yeah. Ooh, wonderful. Yeah. So um, next time cool. I'll get you all. So, time. but that was um, what was that? That was ten. Ten. Oh, a ten. So what happens with a ten? Is it still? Um, I think it's. Yeah, it's just the same. It doesn't say Wonderful. anything different. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> Hannah, uh, you suddenly <laughs> feel like 10,000 gold Ooh! pieces as uh, <laughs> you've been healed for 12 hit points, much more than you <laughs> needed. Do I get those plus? No, oh. it's not. <laughs> your, your heart does not grow three sizes, uh, three sizes bigger. Ooh, I feel like we could drink this poison right now. Let's drink some poison. Nope, nope not drinking that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does anyone have wine? Oh. Did oh. we did we bring alcohol? I didn't bring any. Uh, I would say these pears are probably fermenting in my bag for a little <laughs> bit, but not long enough. I got candy. Yeah, let's Kay. do some drugs. Well, I can uh, I could uh, necromance some shit out of that. All right, you guys party, but I want to go find this fairy first, just in case. I'm gonna come with you. Okay. I'm gonna take one of the pears and like cut out a bowl. Of it, like so, like you, you cut a hole at the top of the pear, <laughs> and then you carve out a hole, and then you make this, um, you make it so that it connects, and then like little like holes so that like I can put like weed on top of it, like. But I want it to be like like the the ash of the troll, so like I'm gonna necromance his body in the pear and you like get high. You want to smoke the troll <laughs> out of a pear pipe? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're the Rat Queens! I think that's uh, Get Smoky. That's <laughs> a, that's a <laughs> <little smoky. laughs> I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna say, you're gonna roll me 2d6 plus skill, because this is yeah. gonna take some mad, mad, mad skill. How many? Oh. We have three rerolls. <laughs> uh, is it worth it? Uh, it depends on if the chat thinks it's worth it or not. Um, I'm gonna. God. I just got healed. I'm gonna do one, one, just one, just one. And if it's worse, it's worse. Okay. Oh, it's not worse. Uh, it's nine. It's a nine. So, uh, I will say, uh, you are able to successfully and skillfully carve this pipe out of a pear. However, uh, you're just your necromancy isn't feeling super up to snuff tonight, so you can't. You're not able to kind of disintegrate and summon the ashes of the stone troll. Uh, so you're able to, you can smoke some other stuff in that pear pipe, but uh, not the remains of your enemies. Uh, I, I kick it out on the boot of my, or the heel of my boot. And um, does anyone have something to smoke? Oh, amateurs, what is up with us? How does, like, it's like we never gone on a trip ever before. It, right. Yeah, it's a disgrace. We cut to uh, Betty and Dee making their way over to where Betty kind of had the the mellowed out fairy. Hey, bud, how you, how you doing over there? We got super messed up trying to protect you. Oh, oh, yeah. Can Did I you sh- see that troll? Yeah, he's <laughs> super dead now. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I was like, Trying to tell you he was behind you. Yeah, I was not paying attention super good. But he does have a son, apparently, somewhere in these woods. Right, D? <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. He, mm. uh, I wouldn't be worried. It's a baby troll. What can baby trolls do? Ooh, <laughs> famous last words. Can I see how damaged this fairy is? Yeah, you see that uh, one of his little wings is kind of uh, clipped. Can that's I try to help him? Sure. Okay. Well, two, can I try to? Yeah. yeah. Roll two to six plus heart. Well, I guess I don't know fairy healing very well. Oh, no. <laughs> um, that was a, f- a six. A six. Oh, well, unfortunately, yes. Uh, in trying to heal him, no. you accidentally oh. kind of snap his little, his, ow, ow, one of his little wings off. No, 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 no. Ow, ow, sorry, sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, and he passes out oh, from no. the pain oh, in oh. your hands. Uh. Uh, uh, maybe let's take him back to camp with us. Yeah, we'll yeah. Figure out what to do with him. Try again later, maybe. Okay. We take him back to camp. You carry, take him back to camp. <laughs> uh, this is a perfect moment. D- Dee and Betty, do you have anything? You have kind of a nice little walk back to camp. Just want to check in with each other. Or yeah. Dee, are you okay? You're super not healing very well today. <laughs> well, I mean, I healed you all pretty well, but uh, true. yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of off my game. I don't know what's going on. Just, I don't know. We, I put on that, that 
that mask mm. and maybe I was expecting something to happen or I was huh, maybe I was hoping something would happen maybe I was hoping that that something would actually convince me that Naragoth is real but nothing happened it was just that flash and but something did happen the whole town was fixed everything was better I mean it did something even if you didn't see anything or remember anything maybe maybe you saw something and forgot eh. Maybe. Yeah. It, it sounds like you want to believe. <laughs> even though you super don't. I would. <laughs> listen, I think my life would be a lot easier if I did believe. But I think that ship has sailed. Mm, I think there's still something to explore about that. I think it, it did work some kind of magic for sure. And you can do magic. Yeah, magic I believe in. But like, I don't believe in Naragoth. Mm, well, I didn't believe him before. I don't believe him now. Seems like you're still the same person you always were. That's fine. Betty, you're really good at seeing the uh, bright side of things. Thanks. That actually does make me feel better. Good. Because I'm super hungry, and I hope we can cook something good to eat, and, and so I can feel better now, too, please. So is, you're, is, are you holding the fairy? Yeah. I scoop you up, and so now I'm holding you, and you're holding the fairy, and we're just walking in the woods. I hope we didn't kill this fairy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> What's his name? Um, what's his name? Violet and Hannah, as as Dee and Betty have gone off to investigate this fairy, uh, Hannah, you're kind of shaking or hitting the pear, the nicely carved uh, pear pipe on your boot. Anything? I take a bite out of. Um. <laughs> Hold on, I take a I take a bite out of one end of it, like not to disturb the the whole part of it, but you know. <laughs> pretty good. Hey, you did a couple selfless things today, huh? No. I mean, you did. Why are you looking at me like that? I just, sometimes you gotta state the obvious. Do you like wanna cry about something with me right now? I don't wanna cry. I was gonna see if you wanted to cry. I've already cried a lot today. What have you got to cry about? Oh, well, you, you know what? You keep doing this thing. Or you turn the tables to me. I'm fine. My fuck buddy is 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 rock hard. My dad's alive. My mom's still floating in the interdimensional space. And you guys are healed. So what do you want me to talk about? I guess that is all the things you care about in one place. Care about, schmear about. Mm -hmm. Schmear about, yeah. It's a new word that is going to take off any day now. I mean, I just haven't said it in, in town. Maybe if I say it in town. Maybe if I uh, tell Aveline, she'll make it the fucking theme of the summer solstice party. She probably would. Oh, gosh. What? Speaking of Aveline, feels like we got a long way to go before... Uh, before, uh, before we get to the mead. I just think it's going to be real routine and easy. It's still, you still think that, Hannah? What haven't we conquered yet? And if we don't conquer it, we die. And I already know that there is life beyond death. So what have I got to fear? Hey, that's a good point. And then I uh, just decided I'm going to take a pair too and <laughs> cut it in half and start carving it. <laughs> what are you carving into this pear? Uh, I'm kind of into making a pear bowl too, just so just so we can be together in it, you know? Yep, roll me 2d6. I'm feeling plus, really connected. Roll me 2d6 plus skill. <laughs> pear bowls. Uh, I have a nine. A nine, so yes, uh, you you are able to carve this pear bowl. You couldn't probably smoke anything out of it, but uh, it does have some pretty decent craftsmanships. Uh, I'd like to forage around to see if there is um, a recognizable, distinguishable, like smokable plant. All right. Oh my God. Romy, uh, <laughs> Romy 2d6 plus canny. You're gonna take stock of your environment. Oh. Re -roll, re -roll. You have two re-rolls left. It's not worth it's it. Not worth I don't <laughs> think it's worth it. But it's okay. No, we're good. What was the number? It was five. Great. 
Uh, Hannah, <laughs> you do find a plant uh, and you pick it up with your bare hands. It unfortunately was poison ivy as uh, it kind of, you start to get itchy, like an itchy rash on both of your palms. I can still smoke it. I use the wand to flick up a little bit of fire. All right. Uh, you not only take one point of damage <laughs> from having poison ivy on your hands, <laughs> you take an additional three points of damage because you then decided to smoke it. <laughs> that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I learned from the absolutely terrible decision that she made, and I just start eating my pear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look so smug. Uh, Betty and Dee, you have made it. Uh, you kind of, at this point, you've made it back. Uh, Hannah and Violet, yeah, you see a Betty, uh, you see D carrying a Betty, carrying something in her hands. What did you just do? Uh, not the best choices. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How right. am I not surprised? Oh, you're Cause... gone for two minutes. A lot of time for you, you to just fuck heal some me. Shit up. <laughs> what? Heal again? Me again? Why? What did you do? I just smoked some itchy ivy. Oh, come on. I just almost killed a fairy. My what? healing juice what? is way off. Whoa. What can we do? What can we do? No, why is a fairy on our fucking campground? Mm. What do you have against fairies? This is fine. Just, we don't need any more baggage. <laughs> He's just a little... <laughs> That's true. <laughs> He's just a little guy and we tried to heal him and then knocked him out. They yeah. seem cool. He seems pretty harmless. I mean, I would like to try to fix that wing, but... I feel like everything we touch dies, so... We're not going to be the most helpful thing to him. Not each other. Oh, don't you dare. Do yeah, you don't touch her. She has poison ivy. <laughs> Can you please heal me? <sighs> yes. I'm going to say, because you are running kind of low <laughs> on your healing magic, you're going to be, <laughs> I'm going to say, uh, you're really channeling it now. You're going to have to uh, roll. Uh, only You can only roll your skill with it, so only a plus one. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's a nine. <laughs> Dang. Uh, you do have two rerolls. Well, nine is still good, right? Mm, but with cost, right? Yeah. <laughs> cost to who? Cost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't want it. You paid enough. You paid enough. Maybe reroll. It's up All to right, you. All right. You know what? Yeah, I'll reroll <laughs> for my uh, bad decision. The fairy wing. Okay. Oh, I know. Yeah. Hannah Someone just help made a me, bad decision. Help me heal the fairy oh, after yeah. this, okay? Oh, yeah. We'll do that. Yeah. We'll do. Oh, this <laughs> fuck. Uh, what number is this? That was not, it's just one less, right? Yeah. yeah. Eight. Eight. So an eight. Plus one, nine. Okay, so. That's the same, actually. We're just going to sit down no. with that. Eight, eight, eight. Uh, Hannah, you do feel kind of the internal effects of the poison ivy be cured, but uh, your hands, unfortunately, now have a little bit of kind of a pink scarring on them from uh, just itching them so much. I'd like to put my gloves back on. <laughs> put your gloves Thank back you. on. That's a good choice. So what does that mean you. to you in hit points? Uh, I, you're back at 20, yeah. Okay, great. And can then I, you'd like to... Yeah, okay. Can someone help me try to heal this fairy? I need some help. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I will gladly help. Okay. I don't think Thanks. I'm... It's just a bond, is that what it's... It's a bond, so roll your, what is, roll your bond with D, Violet. Roll me 2d6 plus that modifier. I, I roll two. Two d6 plus your mark, like a normal roll. Okay, great. Oh, no, I only got you <laughs> six. Uh, I got you. Yikes. You have two rerolls. Okay, yeah, I, I want to it. let you know that whenever you try to help someone, if you do not roll a 10 or above, it does negatively affect you. Ten. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think two. we need to use this less. <laughs> okay, that's a 10. Ooh. Wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, D, you do get plus two Ooh. in addition on this next roll. So, you get okay. a plus one, you get your modifiers plus one, and you get additional plus two. So, you have Violet, you're kind of. Uh, tell me how do you this fucking help theory, do you? Be worth it. Um, I am, uh, I'm so, uh, I'm so connected to her <laughs> that I just, I just squeeze her hand a little bit. I just, I just give her a little squeeze, a little extra. <laughs> it's comforting. It's really yeah. comforting. Yeah. Just a little, <laughs> little squeeze her bicep. Mm -hmm. I feel comforted by that. Yeah. Oh God, I'm going to puke. <laughs> oh wait, are you ready to heal this, yes. this fairy day? Am I doing it with skill again? Yes. Okay. Why are they so close? Okay, cool. six plus three, that's Here. nine. You do have two re-rolls. Might as well. We're... I will say, yeah, might as well use them. Okay. Oh, uh, another one? <laughs> no! Oh, no. One. You do have one more. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. This fucking fairy, man. Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, okay. Okay. you have plus... Ten. 
Yeah. Ten. Yeah. Wonderful. So <sighs> yes, uh, as you kind of using uh, like the last of kind of your healing magic and this amazing comforting squeeze <sighs> and inspiring squeeze from Violet, mm -hmm. uh, D, you concentrate on this little blue fairy's uh, sh broken wing as all of a sudden you start to see kind of the threads of his wings kind of reform and sew themselves back together as both of his wings are healed. Mm. And he starts to wake up. Oh, hey, huh. hey, 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 hey. Just hey, trying to wake oh, him up. Oh. Hey, hey, buddy. Oh, th oh, my good. Oh, oh. And he, his a light, his he starts to glow an iridescent blue as his mood changes. As he kind of sees the wings behind him and feels that his wings have been healed. Oh, who did this? Oh, who did this? Oh, was it you all? Oh, it was oh. Her. Tell yeah. tales of the Rat Queens and how we are so magnanimous and hailing the fucking fairies. Oh, I'll do better than menace? that. I'll, I'll, how can I help you? I'll, I'll help you in any way I can. Are you trying to oh. get through the forest? Yes. Here, yeah. let, me, let me be your guy. Let me help you. Oh, yes. 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 That, that would be great. We'll take it. Wonderful. Yeah, we're trying to go to the Mustang meet Meadery. <laughs> oh, but we need a safe Greg. path. Greg, oh, oh, oh. I know Greg, Greg real Greg. well. Yes, Greg. Greg. that's our guy. Yeah, Greg. I can help you get to Greg, and I can make sure it's safely. Yeah, oh, I love this. What's I mean... your name? My name is Clyde. <laughs> Clyde. Clyde. That's a pretty uh, rocking name for a fairy dude like you. Oh, he starts to then glow a little pink and is blushing. <laughs> Clyde, I'm Betty. Betty. Hannah. 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 Okay. I'm Dee. Dee. And I'm Violet. Violet. And uh, we are the Rat Queens. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. We got a group name. Yeah. Well, great. Uh, sure. Here. How about we... I don't know about you guys, uh, but my day, oh, it has tuckered me out. Is it okay if we maybe uh, crash a bit? And then as soon as the morning, as soon as dawn break, that's when I get a better lay of the land. We can really see things, and we, and we head out. I'd like to press my finger up against the throat of Clyde. Oh! Oh, <laughs> uh, we're friends. Hannah, Hannah, Clyde, Hannah, Clyde, Hannah. That's what I think too. Is that we're friends? But if I find that you've stolen any of our things, you won't be able to have children or breath in your lungs. Okay, Hannah. All right. Uh, yes. He's cool. Clyde's cool. I'm I know, cool. but I'm, I'm cool. protecting what I shmear about. Shmear to try really? to balance you take care. To try to balance this for you, Clyde. We're before you go to sleep. I promise I'll sing you a dwarven a dwarven song. Oh yes, uh, yes. I'm feeling really sleepy right now. Could you <laughs> could you sing me a dwarven song right now? I can, I can. Wonderful. Uh, I go over to my cot or like my you know my sleeping your bed area. Roll. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> You're practical and short, and that's very very good. And all the things about the dwarves we think are better than food. Sometimes we rhyme things that aren't exact, and that's okay, because we're like Zach. Very, 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 very cool. As, and as Zach. Violet's voice uh, carries into the night, uh, we pan up from the, from the campsite of the Rat Queens as we look onto a black and blue sky that is sparkled with scars, stars as they stars, shine overhead. Stars, stars. And suddenly it's as almost as if the stars move and form a grin and it smiles. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, that <laughs> is the first episode of the Rat Queens RPG. Thank you so Woo! much for staying with us and joining us on this journey and tipping right before we get to thanking everyone who supported us. We have a quick video to show you, so let's check it out.